Hey, howdy, fellas. Why are we now from Southern America? <laughs> when did that know. happen? <laughs> I, sorry. <laughs> I picked the wrong accent out of my, my bag immediately. <laughs> Straight away, you fucked it. <laughs> hello. What should, what should it be? I can't, I don't it's know. It's like, hello, Holmes. Oh, yes. Well, you're Holmes. I'm Watson. Hello, Watson. Hello, Good Holmes. Good morning, Holmes. Welcome, Good everyone. Good morning. <laughs> To the Pusher and Strangler Detective Agency. That's right. My lady. I made a little, I made a little tweet saying what we do: poking bodies and getting the it's wrong, getting murder. the wrong guy, putting him to the, yes, the noose. Yes, getting the wrong guy in the <laughs> in the noose. <laughs> Hang that. Idiot. Hang that poor innocent man. <laughs> that'll show him. Yeah, that'll teach him to <laughs> look suspicious around us. <laughs> to have a mustache. <laughs> or, or maybe not look very suspicious at all, in which case we're probably going to accuse you because how it works. <laughs> Through the power of metagaming. Deduction. We've done it. So we're going back today, aren't we, to something we were playing like two weeks ago. Oh, yes. We, we, we had a little interval. You were in America. I was in America. Actually, someone just Bloody said... Bloody America. Bloody America. Someone just said, how was the heat in the Southwest? So, better than the heat in Bristol right now. Because it's so dry. It's like 40 degrees, but it's so dry that you don't really sweat. You're just like, oh, it's hot. It's kind of like you're in an oven. Yeah, like a lovely oven. Whereas um, with Bristol heat, I'm just, I'm just sweating. It's like it's 20 like degrees. It's like your pasta and you're being boiled. Yes, it's like the air is hot soup. Like, I can't I can't take it. It's too fucking hot. But it's not hot. It's like 20 degrees. It's not hot at all, is it? It's really? just really fucking humid and muggy. It's um, nice. No, I like it. No, I'm sweating aggressively. I like it. Aggressively. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was a bit unbearable water. on some days. Pipe of which one? Which one? Just pour the water Whoa. in there and then drink it through. Like a bubble pipe. That's classy. That's well, how the classy people do it. It is like hot soup. Yeah, it's too muggy at the moment. What was the best thing? You did. Um, in terms of like, wow, it would be the Grand Canyon, just because that's you know, it's just even though you know it's going to be pretty big, seeing it with your own eyes is like, it's re it's God real, damn. it's real fucking big. Um, also, I really liked uh, uh, Bryce Canyon. That was also pretty like, wow. And Zion Park was. Wow. What's Bryce Canyon? Just another less secondary, it's lesser, like another yeah, smaller canyon. slightly smaller, a bit maybe a little bit like more red toned. To Right. Yeah, but that was nice as well. Um, nature. Nature. Were there good places to like see a lot of landscape? Was it quite clear? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like you could. It, what, what, like one of the coolest things is we did a drive from um, somewhere from Bryce to Flagstaff or something. I can't remember. It took like four hours, and we saw like red rock. Uh, we saw like lush foresty things. We saw this grey stone. We saw like desert, which just was nothing there. It was like you saw so, like the fucking different. Um, biomes of America in the space of like four hours is, is crazy. That was cool. Because we were driving around in like this red convertible. It does sound cool. I, was, I felt like a movie star. <laughs> Wait, did you have the top open? Yeah. <laughs> like a movie star. Well, you, you need to, I guess. I know, otherwise my head is like... <laughs> Actually, I was allowed to sit on the fr in the front because of my bad knee, and my poor friend, who is five foot nine, when we couldn't always have the top up because the car was a bit weird, and she had to sit like this for like four hours because I had just hit the top. And it was like, oh, by the end of the by the end of the holiday, she lost a few inches. She was all crooked. Did you drink a lot? Not too much, actually. Oh. No, no, um, it wasn't wow. actually that, but that it boozy. That it was too hot, you know. Like it's too, too hot to booze. Too hot to booze. And also like we had we had the, the most intense itinerary. I love my friends, but they did plan like like non-stop doing stuff. Well, this is the thing, like, right? And when you're driving, yeah. driving takes so much longer than you think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you think, oh well, it says on Google this takes three hours, so we'll get there for like five. It doesn't no, take three hours. Exactly. It takes like five hours because you stop someone for ten minutes. You gotta have a pee traffic, break and then, and then like, get out and to the And you always picture. start like an hour late, yeah. get all the stuff in the car. So you're always sort of rushing. So there was no time for hangovers, Lewis. There was no time. Hangovers were eliminated from the schedule. Yeah, plus I had maybe one of my worst hangovers ever on like the second day. So after that, I was like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> this is this is kind of pain I didn't know I could feel. Which is the computer we used last time on this? Do you remember? Because uh... I haven't got a save. Huh. <laughs> Did we save it? <laughs> Surely it must have automatically saved. Hmm. I don't think it really matters. It's anyway. another mystery. A mystery. Do you want me to? Shall we just? Is it? What do we do? 
Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, so we'll you're signed on on your screen. Can we just do the intro again? Because honestly, like, we can't really remember this. Wait, we're doing it again. Uh, <laughs> no, there must be something gonna, else we can we're do. We're probably going to murders up. <laughs> also, we could do go to some of the other murder sites. Is this the one with the guy in half on the train track? Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the spooky boy in the mine. Yeah. If you were a kid. Oh, like spooky boy in the mine. Yeah, that we right. ran away from that. We solved that one. That was a puzzle. That was a puzzle that, that we didn't do. Started out just like we did. We cheated. Fan mail. Did we? Yeah. But soon there were oh. mentions. Remember, we went up and <laughs> I, ch- I looked it up <laughs> online. <gasps> that Don't tell everyone our secres. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find the first puzzle at the start this time. Oh, we went past the puzzle at the start. It's a very there's a, there's a puzzle right at the start that we missed. Oh wow. Okay, let's do that then. I don't remember a puzzle. I was too late for we that. Can we move? To find Ethan. Yes. I had to figure out what this place okay. was trying to hide from me. Maybe we don't follow the train tracks. Is there something off to the side? I don't know. I'd say we cheat. I don't. I don't ever cheat. Right. We didn't. I don't look at the. I don't look at the guides. Always Lewis has got it up. I've got to look up. I've got to look up a cheat guide. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Jesus. What? I didn't even need to look up a cheat guide. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this the first one? <laughs> I guess this is the first one. <laughs> okay, so we've got to find... That looks horrible. What's... What... Can you hold on it? What does it do? It just remember, like, you need to, like, get the clues, otherwise the thing doesn't, like, show oh, itself. Oh, what? So you need to find more what information clues? about this trap. About the trap. And I guess not fall into it. Um, what kind of clues do you think there would be? Well... Are there more traps? Um... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's another bear trap. <laughs> yes, there are more traps. <laughs> okay, there's one more. Mm. Who put these here? What the Some fuck? Kind of psychotic hillbilly. Probably. Um, oh god, now I'm scared to. I'm scared to go anywhere. There might be like a log that swings down from a tree. Oh and god, yeah, which has spikes on it. It could be like, you could just step on some like bit of moss and it like, Ooh. you know, totally sinks through into oh the ground. No. God, imagine getting your leg trapped in a bear trap. That must just be. I think I watched a horror movie where that happened. It wasn't. It didn't end well for the person. God, those bear traps are such terrifying-looking things as well, aren't they're they? So scary. They're horrible. Um, right. I feel like totally inhumane as well. Like whoever came up with that idea. Do they still use them? I thought like they should be they must, bad. They can't do it anymore. They no, must be they're great. horrific. Um, well, it's like people still use those traps for mice, where they it's just glue. Like it's, it's so horrible. Horrible! What do you mean it's just glue? As in like it's a glue trap, so they step on it and they get stuck and they can't move. So they just like really slowly die. It's like really horrible. And then birds get trapped in them and they die and it's just a... Welcome to this lovely stream. About death. About animal death. God, it's horrible. Do you buckle up your horrid. seat belts. Buckle up your cheat <laughs> for the cheat engine. Vanishing of Ethan Carter cheat. <laughs> There's another yeah. one. What's that? What is that kind I of trap? Oh, it's a spike it's trap. It's a spike. Spiky boy. Do you step on it and it springs up and I spikes guess you? Oh, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's going to help me other than say. Oh, there it was! There's the thing! Oh, the flipping yeah. there is one! There we go. Well, I found them all. I feel like I found like, quite a few now. Ooh. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Maybe one more. One more, Spiggy One more horrific <laughs> doom trap. Device. Okay, so we've come full circle. So all you have to do is walk just off the path. And you, you <laughs> and immediately, immediately there are traps everywhere. I guess. The fuck? Uh, so we'll go see the original one. Like, does it? Is it always just that bit, right? I think we need to find one more, one by more the way. maybe to get And then it will reveal, like, a mystery. So our psychic, because we're a psychic detective. I don't know if you guys yeah. have, have, have seen this game. It's, it's like quite an odd game. Played it a couple of weeks ago. It's got lots of narrative murders and puzzles and things in it. Um, we did a bunch from before, and obviously it didn't save. Or maybe it did, but we're not using this in the viewer. Or maybe we are, but... I don't know. Because mm, there was like, it's like, fuck. 
<laughs> Have you checked that one? <laughs> I saw that coming. I don't know why. I'm so <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. I'm in this world. Got the psychic world. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, I don't think I want to go off the edge. Oh, read. Uh, Sap. There you go. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. Villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his <laughs> sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. <laughs> the old man sat down and cried. And he found more sap to drink. And I love Sounds bloody like some sort of terrifying ghoul. He bloody loves this sap. <laughs> what the fuck? It goes, it's like a fucking um, little goblin going to drink, drink my tree sap. Oh, well, there's the... There's the uh, you. you can't be here. But, Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Ed is um, Ethan's just, grandpa. Just leave it. Is Ethan the kid that everyone... I'll read it later. Oh, yeah, the vanishing, obviously. All right, so Ed wrote this story for Ethan, right? We got achieve. Yay! Sap. <laughs> sap. Uh, so this guy just loved munching, munching on sap. So this must be just a story, like I don't think those traps. Maybe those. Tra I think those traps were maybe. There's got to be more. The, they're just figments of Ethan's imagination. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, because. Well, okay. So obviously, maybe in this the psychic dome. We ha what we're dealing with here is Ethan, who is a very powerful psychic. And yeah. He's able to manifest physical physically, uh -huh. but because he's a child, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. And it's kind of like lashing out. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Psychically. Right. So he's made, he's sort of manifested these traps? Cro is there anything else yeah. to do? No, I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's the trap it's puzzle Batman. to start up. Well, that wasn't really a puzzle. Yeah, well, it was find, find the trap. Find the traps. Read about the sap. Oh, look, oh, there's there another one. More. Oh. Ooh. Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department. Only six was asleep when the bra blaze broke out. Oh, Once we looked out, around that house. Yeah. Gail Carter was pronounced dead at the scene. Carter's husband, Edwin, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Oh my god. Alright, so that's Ethan's family. Is that Ethan's family? Ethan Carter's family? Yeah, it must be. Well, no, Ed, is the, Ed is the um, grand granddad. 62. And so that's Gail his Carter grandparents. Must be his grandma. Well, no, a family of six. So, grandpa may be. Hmm, okay. Okay. But, so his family are dead in a fire. And this story is about people that die in a fire. If only he'd covered his body in gooey, gooey sap. Um. Okay, so what was that? What's read into that madness? Okay, all right. So this is what? So this is a story that his what's that, that he wrote sap blah, 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 about blah. old man's an old man and a fire. You see what I mean? To get the old man's over, they just traps, traps. Villagers believe that this old man had hidden jade and let the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. I'm like, my mind is like spinning, right? <laughs> Imagine we are dealing with like a powerful psych okay. psychic creature. Okay, yeah. Carter here, right? Okay. He's like, he's like, he saw his, it might have just been an accident, like his grandfather burned down their house, with family the house. And he was a child outside with all the family watching the house burn down. And obviously, grandma died in that house fire that's called this news article okay okay maybe he wrote this story to like kind of account f like to link maybe this old man is his grandfather is that, that's what I'm trying to say right because his granddad survived yeah and like maybe sap is like 
tree drugs. Like, and he's like licking, licking trees or frogs or whatever, going out <laughs> into the <laughs> frogs. Licking frogs. So when we went to the burnt out house, wasn't there something about we got into like the magical room and it basically implied that they, he was like making alcohol in there? Yes, still. So, but people, and then people try to like steal it or something like that? Is that, is sap the alcohol? Maybe the sap is that he's getting from the trees. Maybe he's, ah, uh, maybe making maple syrup. Tink, 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 tapping trees for yeah. sap. Yeah. Making that into yeah. alcohol? Moonshine. moonshine. Sugar. Right. Ah, uh, but, maybe not, but and also, how fire. would he cover himself in maple syrup and not get set on fire? It's a gooey, gooey barrier. A lovely is it maple syrup flammable or is it not? Maybe if you were drinking. maple syrup flammable. Someone wants Someone. Someone must know. We need some science. We need to get back to the science. We need to do experiment. Quick. Get, the, get the chemistry set out. Mrs. Miggins, go <laughs> pop down to um, Sainsbury's and get us a bottle of maple syrup and we'll set it for fire. <laughs> and we'll see if, it, see if it's flammable. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, yes, yes, no. I feel like no one really knows. <laughs> no one has done this experiment. I don't experiment. think it is, probably. So I think maple syrup... No, wait. So I think sap is Ethan's way of talking about the alcohol that his granddad was brewing. And then this is the story about how his villager's bones and basically his, all his family die. But the old man sat and cried. Then he found some more sap to drink. So his granddad survived and then was a drunk and then just kept drinking his moonshine. Yeah, Edwin. Yeah, Edwin. old Eddie. He fell asleep with a cigarette probably because he was so drunk. Yeah, so that's what you do. So yeah. You drink alcohol. Yeah, you pass uppers out. Uppers and downers. Uppers and downers, pass out. That's why out. they're so good together. Yeah, they just give you mm, up, down, right in the middle. That's Lovely. the best way to do drugs. Everybody, Everyone. don't listen to us. Listen, I mean, do listen to us. If you mix the uppers and the downers. <laughs> you get a nice medium. We've talked about this before. <laughs> things that make you go up, like caffeine, and things that make you go down, like sleeping, sleeping pills. pills. <laughs> what a wonderful combination. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Vodka Red Bull. Red Bull, Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Vodka makes you snoozy. Red Bull makes you woozy. Combine the two, you're in for a treat. You're in for a truesy. <laughs> you're in for a truesy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically... <laughs> you're doing a truesy. <laughs> basically, his granddad was a drunk, and this is a story This is us making up bollocks. No, I think this is true. And then his granddad is the reason that his family died, because he fell asleep. Believable. Yeah, and then he woke up and found more sap to drink. He we've, didn't, done, we've done a lot of thinking about this. Right, did, let's carry on. Yeah, he didn't want anyone to drink his sap, a.k.a. his moonshine. Yeah, I agree. I think okay. that's it, Lydia. I think we've solved we've the We've done case. it. We've solved the case. We can all go home now. We're already, like, pretty deep into solving yeah. it. Yeah. So I wonder if there's anything else around here, or is it just... No, I think that's just it. That's the, yeah. that's the first right. puzzle. So then you find the burnt then out house. Then you find house. the train. No, then you find, oh, the, you find train the train. and the guy with, with, with the no guy legs. who was run over. And he Got was no trying legs. to run over Ethan Carter. Ethan. But Ethan managed to get away. And that old man helped him. Whacked him around the head, and then that guy... That old man was, it, was Edwin. Was that his granddad? I think that was the granddad, right. yeah. Right. Okay. So he saw what was going on. He whacked him around the head. Rally. He saved Ethan, like and the, the guy got place. run over instead. Yeah, I've he, goes, he lost his legs. No so do we just... I mean, do you quiet. have to solve... Can we just no leave this? We know what happened to this guy with his legs. Can we just um, move I on? think we might have to solve all of the murders to finish the game. Right, okay. Not do all the puzzles. Okay. But I think what we should do is just move on to some of the murders that we haven't one. done okay. and then come back to this if we get to the end and it like doesn't end. Okay, and we'll do cool. some tidying. All right. Because so we've, we, ha we, know, we know what happens here vaguely. It's a bit of walking, but it won't take that long. Right. What was down here? Do you remember? Mm. Have a peek. Might just be a dead end. Is it a dead end? Yep. 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 Oh, my phone keeps, like, triggering, like, the... Um, I've got the Android um, thingy or whatever you have to say, like, okay, good. hello, Bixby, or whatever the fuck <laughs> is the Samsung hello, assistant, Bixby. some dumb thing. What's it called? Hi, hi, Bixby. Is it actually Bixby? Or something like that. It's so stupid. Bixby. Yeah. Is it a it's actually Bixby? Wow. I thought you were just saying a silly name. It's really dumb. Um, this is definitely it. So this does lead round. This leaps round to the church? Yeah, what did we do last time? Does anyone vaguely remember? Oh, the we'll church, because they were trying to um, bury Ethan in the mausoleum, but he managed to get out. Sorry, this is probably massively confusing for anyone who's joined the stream and didn't see the stream two weeks ago. We don't really remember. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's either, happening. Though, you don't know what's happening. We can all be confused together. Uh... 
I think Lydia should cut out a section of her bowler so she can have headphones while looking apart. <laughs> I know. Well, that is a thing. Like, yeah. We I need, need to, to make a custom bowler for you. I know. Because it can't, it doesn't fit underneath my headphones, but it's too small. I could sort of like fold it round. There we go. Does that work? Mm. I'm beautiful. I'll just balance it. And as long as I don't like gesticulate too much, I'll be fine. Yeah, don't, don't, don't gesticulate. Just very calm movements. All right. I think just keep, 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 keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Um. Was this any? Was this was this anywhere like where you were? But it's not, is it? it was, this is more northern, isn't it? Yeah. There were like there was like a stretch of of. Um, uh, sort of tr traveling where it went a bit like this, sort of very pine trees and. Uh, were they, were they green. great great redwoods and stuff? Was that no, what it is? no, no, not north enough for that. I did see a little beaver on the side of the road. A little, beaver, little beaver boy. Uh, oh. That was fun, <laughs> and a big. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Good say. What? <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> Look, I'm so outraged that my hat fell off. I'm not supposed to be showing emotion. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. So yeah, saw a beaver and saw um, a big. Uh, what's the word? A could big you, deer. Could you back off into the jungle just briefly, past behind that little thing we were at. But how do you know this? Because I've got a little map here. <laughs> oh. This is like a, 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 a puzzle in this forest here behind here. This. So, yeah, this. This. Way. Okay. But it's very weird. Like, very not specific. I think you might be left a bit. I'm sure we looked around here before. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, back behind you, behind you. Yeah, like up this way. Okay. Does anyone know where this is? It's good to do this. That puzzle is a cool one. It's a cool one. But we need to find it first. Cool one. Oh, it's this definitely, see, it's like, That's so free. it's like, um, can you see, Lydia? I've got the map here. I'll show you. You see on the screen over there? Yeah. Um, like, uh, see where? Can you see? Uh, can you see? You see this? Yeah. This is where. This is the station that you were just at. Uh huh. It's like back here. Oh, okay. In the jungle. It's like in the forest. In the jungle. Um, we looked around here last time for it as well because I, I, we saw something that pointed us to do it, and I can't remember. I don't remember this at all. My memory is shocking. So we're looking. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Lord. Oh dear. Oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, I've oh. messed it all Bloody up. Bloody hell. So it's a pool? A space pool? I don't have my glasses on. Does that say space pool? Uh, no, it's a space <laughs> pod. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around here? In the, in the lush greenery? Uh, oh, what's that? What the that fuck looks, is that? That looks mysterious. It looks real mysterious. <gasps> What? Ah, what the fuck is happening? Oh, what the fuck? It's a astronaut. What the hell? We've just been drinking too much sap. This is what happens. I'm seeing things. When you lick too many frogs. Where are you going, space boy? Space boy. Where's Space Boy leading us? This is weird. Where's he going? Do you know what I mean? This is like you can see in like a, a like it's, he's like he's luring us with breadcrumbs. Yeah. And, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad in movies and TV shows. Mm. I think it's about 50 50, right? I think it's usually bad, isn't it? It's you, it, well, I think it, it, it'd be good like like sometimes. Oh, like, like sometimes like a little ghost child is like trying to teach you that someone's yeah. evil. So they like lead you somewhere and you're like, oh. Breadcrumbs just makes me think of the of old granny trying to stuff it in the oven, though. So. That's really you grim story, isn't it? Hansel and Gretel. It's like actually horrific. And then they end up burning her alive. Oh, where did he go? Where'd the astronaut boy go? He wouldn't have gone that far. I think go back. Uh, go back a little bit. Where's my son? No, I think you've gone too far. Major Tom. Where are you? Oh, is that him? No, that's the star. Oh. Are we just like blinking? Ah, oh, shit. You Maybe you went right instead of left. Oh, sorry. Go right a bit further. Where are you, sweet 
Bloody hell. Where are you, moon boy? I've just, I've completely bloody lost him. We might have to start again. Fuck. We've lost him. He's run away. Right, let's go. We need to follow the trail more mm. carefully. Maybe stop when he blinks. Okay. And turn around, just in case you see him in the distance. You see what I mean? Well, I don't know if it's going to take me back. Oh, it will. Okay. Hello! Look at his beautiful, beautiful moon face. Okay. Right, so following when him. Every, when he disappears, you've got like a second to see where he reappears. Oh, yeah, like it's, there's like a little flash here. up here. <laughs> okay, well, we couldn't see that. We knew where he was. It's weird. Yeah, okay. He hides from us. He's a cheeky boy. He's over there. He doesn't go that far, though. Look, he never goes like yeah. more than. <laughs> Again, I didn't see that. But yeah, but he doesn't go like. Oh, that oh he's over there. Far. That was quite far away. All right. I'm just gonna walk to you. Oh, he's over there. Is this where I lost him before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's got to be down here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I didn't see him before. He was right in front of us. Moon man. Moon man. Oh, wait. Where is he? Is this where you're listening? Yeah, this is where you're listening. Oh, no, don't, go, don't go that way. To go right. This way? Right. Or back. Or back. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere else. Like, what? For, but not, not the way you just went. Because okay. that's not where he went. There he is. Ah. Found him. Oh, my God. Is he going? <gasps> ah! Oh, my God. What the God. fuck is happening? Take me with you! Oh no, you've been abducted. Yeah, finally! Let's get the old probe out. It's like a cushioned padded cell. Ooh, Look lovely. at the walls. Ooh, yes. Look, they're like... Soft. Like they're like cushioned padded room. Mm, this looks like man-made. This is great. This does look like aliens. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, where happening? are we going? What's happening? What's happening? I can't believe we missed going to space last time. So is this Woo! imagination? Woo! I mean, kids love to play with rockets, right? Yeah. Well, oh, what does it say on that oh. thing? Extraterrestrial containment capsule. Oh. <gasps> Amazing. This is so pretty. Oh, my days. We're in space. We're in space. There's the old... Orion's belt. <laughs> There's a bunch of shit over there. Lovely. Nebulas. These are nebulas. All nebulas. Beautiful nebulas. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, Star nurseries, they're called. Oh, I, think, uh, I think this is our life now. Let's just stare out the window. So, okay. Obviously, kids love to play rockets. Yeah. You could imagine this being one of Ethan's games, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. A little spaceman that he takes off into space. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're getting inside the mind of a child is there any buttons um What's that thing there on the on there what's that oh yeah here we go fangs the beast had fangs but was heavy and slow so when it saw the light in the sky it waited thinking the light would go out like the others before it but when it did not the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning as the orange light died another took its place this one was blue a pure and bright blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Oh, there's another page. Is there? I said one Get out, out of too, my room, it? Travis! Maybe it's stories, got a pet stories. And all that. always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Travis' brother, maybe? Yeah. I wonder if Travis died in the fire. <gasps> oh, Bang! we're in a treehouse. Oh. And this is where he launches up into space, oh, see? Yeah. This is his psychic pod. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. Trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, 
the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Aww. What oh, a so terrifying tale. Yeah. Aww. What's the other one say? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, we are in his mind. See, he read and s saw this pod thing in a fiction tales. Magazine. Um, Is his brother written that on it? I assume so. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. All right. Okay. Well, that was cool. I like that little little thing. I like seeing Space Boy. I like going into the little outer space in the nebulous. On to the next mystery. That was quite a mystery, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But it was. That wasn't. I don't think that was as like. Had as much meaning behind it as the sap man, did it? What was the fangs like referencing? The beast? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alas. Uh, no trains have been through here. I, it's a funny old thing, like, when, when we were kids, you know, we used to cool things Large kind of gay of like as, um, kind of a not, not like made. just a, just Worst like it kind of meant themselves. not cool right i remember obviously, in primary school kids would say that obviously yeah. it, it is not cool to say that these days no, no. um and i understand why um but i think it wasn't it wasn't i don't think we were ever intending to be um homophobic back in the day no like, we didn't no. use it in that yeah sense when, at when, least when i was at my age yeah it wasn't it wasn't used like that. Yeah, um, I, I think... It, I there was a thing, because I, I used to listen to Chris Moyles. He was a DJ, like, mm. DJ, just dropping on Radio 1. He used to do, like, a breath show for ages. And he got in trouble for calling stuff gay. Just to, in, in, it was a manner of, it's just a way of speaking. Yeah, you just reminded me of something, yeah. And I was playing a board game the other night, and um, I, was, I was playing it with... Um, you can control a guy who is gay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, so, something happened, and there was this, this terrible, over, like terrible, broken, really annoying card that just sucked. I thought it was just rubbish. Oh God! <laughs> this card is super gay. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> and everyone laughed, and I, I looked up and I realized what I'd said. But I said it like just, just, and I was like instantly felt, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Because the guy across the table from me was gay, and I was like, "I'm sorry, no offense." And he just was just laughing his ass. I think off. I knew who you'd be referring um, to. And he was yeah. like, "Don't worry, I, I used to call stuff gay as well, yeah, he even though I am gay." And it was <laughs> like, "Oh, thank God!" But I really felt terrible. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and I'll try not to do it in future. It's, it's oh. one of the, it's just. So you don't do it on stream. I, I, I just, do I'm not stream. doing it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know you're not. Just like an autonomic yeah. reflex, almost like. Yeah. Mm. But you can see how people get you get like I don't want to defend people who say b bad words, but it's funny how I could see m mistakes like that happen uh, quite easily. Getting all like getting all um, yeah. Don't worry. I don't worry. I don't 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 worry. I'm all right. You're you're. Oh thank God you're all right. Really <laughs> I was really worried about you. Just trying to. <laughs> I thought I'd tell tell that incident <laughs> because it surprised me in a sense that. Um, it was fine. Yeah. No, it's one of, I mean, like, I know I, when I was at school, it sounded like really old people now, but that's like, well, uh, fucking, you know, grandparents Well, I am like 35, you know. So. I, I am, I'm 30. So when I was at school, they used to say that as well. Uh, in primary school, it was like a very common insult along with your mum. And I wouldn't dare say your mum anymore. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Insult. I wouldn't dare insult your someone's mother. mother. Well, you know, you might get shot for it. Well, it, I, I don't want that to happen either. Course. No. Oh, we went. To this this was the way we went to the mine. Do you remember there was an right. entrance to the mine? At the end. Okay, I think we should actually do the mine Whenever instead of being afraid. Or maybe we did the mine, didn't we? I thought. Oh, we I did see. It. No, there was a suicide. Or there was someone there. dead in there. We didn't solve it because we got too scared. <laughs> we don't know if it was a suicide. We heard it was. A sui I think it was a suicide in the mine. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I, there was definitely a dead person. Like, oh, it was the woman. It was the drowned woman. Oh, you're right. We didn't solve it. And we didn't right. solve it because Let's of the scary, go back to the mine. the scary, scary boy. She drowned in the lift. You're right. She drowned. Yes. We don't know who she was. Maybe it was your mother. Maybe it was my, was my mom. <laughs> that is just the. I can't. Why? Why so weird thinking about? Oh, this is what we got like the whole mom. Stargate flooding the my world question from. I was talking about that for ages. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, people on 
following streams yeah. got in contact with me and they were talking about the maths of it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. And how, like, a Stargate, even at, like, a massively strong flow rate, would take, like, literally millions of years. To millions? Really? It was, like, very slow. Oh, they're all right, then. The world's pretty big. I mean, There's a lot of holes. A lot of holes, like the Grand Canyon. That would take ages. It would take ages to fill that Just in. that alone. It'd be a cool swimming pool, though. Oh, my God, yeah. I got so scared at the Grand Canyon. Are you, are you all right with heights? Um, no. no, I don't think anyone who I don't think anyone is. I think gen like <laughs> genetically, it's in our genes to be nervous about heights. Some people like heights. Some people like being high up. Like it, maybe they like the adrenaline it, you get from it. I don't think so. No, I mean, <laughs> people people get a different levels of vertigo and stuff, don't they? Yeah. From being up high. Um, I uh, I got really scared at the Grand Canyon because it's just it's. There's just sheer drops, obviously, are terrifying. And there's just so many sheer drops. And people were going and standing on the edge and having people take pictures of them. And I just think you are literally one step back from falling hundreds of feet. Yeah. How are you not? Like, my palms were sweating, knees weak, arms were heavy, just looking at them. Never, never, alone, never mind actually just standing there. But I was reading about it. Uh, it's actually one of the, like, smallest reason like the lowest chance of dying at the Grand Canyon you're more like to die of like dehydration or whatever um, but people and do fall off in. yeah but people it's really rare even though people push it so much and like you know you see pictures of like people dangling from the edge and stuff it's actually still quite rare but people do fall and die the dead can't I got too scared I had to like hang on to this pole and just not, never let go where are you taking us I'm not sure <laughs> I thought this would be the way around, but it's not. Anyone in the chat like heights? Like, genuinely enjoy being high up. <laughs> <laughs> high up, up. Good cover. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I, I always get that, like, vertigo feeling yeah, me when too. I look down. I get dizzy. Oof. I, well, I don't... It's, all, it's not... It's limited, though. Like, if I'm behind a fence or something, I'm okay. But if it's, like... Oof. You know, it's, it's like the, yeah. And do you get that thing where you're like, I'm gonna throw myself off? That there, is a thing. There is a that thing. Is a yeah, thing. it's like a, a, a psychotic thing that goes into your yeah. mind. You're like, I'm just gonna throw myself, gonna off, throw myself off. What if, what if I jumped off here? I read about it. I can't remember why your brain does it. I used to get that really badly, but I don't get it so bad anymore. I definitely didn't feel like that at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but I used to be like, have just the urge. It was really weird. <laughs> call of the call of the void. That's it. The Call of the Void, is that what it's called? It's called The Call of the Void, yeah. Really? I have never really... I didn't realise that was a thing. I've definitely felt it. Yeah. Multiple times. Which is weird, right? Like, that your brain is wary and scared of something, but it's telling you to do it. Like, I can't remember the science behind it. It's like, I guess, the same if you're, like, waiting for a train or something, and you have the urge to, like, jump into the tracks. Yeah. You know, weird stuff like that where you're like, I know I don't want to do this, but my brain. It's, my, it's almost like saying, what if I did What if? That, what would happen if, if I did It asks this? that question as well. Mm. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. People come here for many reasons. They want Ooh. to ask me questions Excuse about me. the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house... You must answer the questions I ask of you. Piss off, ghost! <laughs> Can you guys hear this? Um. Death bring peace Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Yes. <laughs> Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? Yes! No. I mean, no. <laughs> Do you take that which you know you will not return? No. No. no Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Are we supposed to, like, respond by not all people? sin come from the heart, not the mind. That's a very mm. idiotic question. <laughs> can handle this, Lydia. This seems weird. Okay, I'll take it. Bloody witches. Bloody creepy witches. 
beautiful woman sat by a river. <laughs> the way you, you hear read the word beautiful, so your voice goes, Ooh. The witch appeared and told the woman she was to have a child. Ooh. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry, emotional thing. <laughs> she cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was Ooh. born. But the crying had aged the woman. She was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if he could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Right. What? So, th so what happened was, the only way the mother could become beautiful was, the child. was for him to never have existed. Yeah. Because he was the cause of her ugliness. And yeah. Having children. But you can understand that maybe Ethan's writing this story. Oh, his mother didn't want him. His mother didn't want him. She cried all the time. And he thinks by... Oh. To, to make her happy, yeah, or, or at least beautiful, and his happy, happy yeah, beautiful, maybe yeah, the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, he had to kill himself, or he not had to go away, to or away. had to have not ever existed. God, that's really sad. That's really sad. Oh. So first she was happy, and then she was scared, and then she just couldn't stop crying. I mean, that sounds about right when you're told you're going to have a child. Ah. This game reminds Ethan me of watching an old, now abandoned YouTube boat. channel called Sips. Just try to get what? along. <laughs> stop living in your head. Do something Who's real. Missy? The mum? That's what people respond to. Reality. Yeah, who is Missy? Missy Elliot. Okay, so this is the... Fear turned to sadness. I mean, that's a very strange sort of thing, isn't it? She began to cry with joy, yeah. but She's the really joy happy. turned to fear. Fear turned to sadness. Sadness turns to anger. <laughs> anger anger turns, turns to hate. Hate, hate. turns to it. Turns when to does it become acceptance? The dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Darth Vader? <laughs> Is this the origin story? Oh. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Oh, you can do this as a mum. Ethan, honey. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, honey. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and no, I got, and I know, and no, I've got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? So she's shouting out three sounds. So she's that always is shouting one of the most him. horribly abusive messages I know. I've ever read. Basically, like I'm gonna keep being shit to you. Look so at this when I do. So this is like a this is like a I am shit to you free yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. I'm always shit to you. And also, by the way, I'm shit to you because you do this. And also, <laughs> buck your fucking ideas yeah. up, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be shit to you if you weren't the way you were. Just saying. Maybe if you were less of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum wouldn't hate you so much. <laughs> I don't think about that. God, this poor child. No wonder he's vanishing and... But that's like what I was saying earlier. Like, 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 you've got to... You can't make excuses for your future bad behaviour. You have no. to... You have. You can't say, I'm... Oh, I know. I know I'm going to be shit yeah. in the future. You just say, you, I, you're, you're going to do your best to not be shit in yeah. the future. Yeah. Okay? To and if you are no. shit in the future... You should feel bad. Yeah, you should have a note saying "stop being shit," and then you can look at it and be like, oh, bro. "She could also have mental issues." Yeah, but uh, that is again like it's not. It's not that is not like a, you can't write a, a card that says, you know, well, not for a child. That just yeah, like, or not for anyone. But yeah, and especially to put them at the end. P.S. You know, stop being a dick. <laughs> it's like wow. Oh. Ooh, okay. So this was where they trapped him in the mausoleum, right? Yeah, so this is where didn't he try? Didn't he brick himself in? There was a raven, a little area. A murder happened here. Do you remember? Yeah, there was the guy, and he got stabbed by the other guy. Like yeah, here. There was there was a murder. There he is. Well, there's the blood. Hmm. So do we just leave this place? Keep going? Um, I don't know. There's two. There's two places we haven't been. Remember, we went down to the down down that lift. Do you remember we went down the lift? Yes, into the... Behind the, the House of Portals, there was a lift. And we went down there, and there was a murder there that we looked into. Trimber? No. The guy with the axe. There was an axe. He came through the door. Oh! Yeah. And then he ended up killing himself. 
Yeah. Yeah. Where was that? I thought that was near the um, uh, the mine. What do I get away from this place? Woo. Am I sort of... I think we want to head back down stairs if we can. Um, I think we're at the highest. Um, I think you might as well just randomly inspect things when you see them, just to save us, just to save us time in the future. Yeah, I think we want to go down um, and round, so go all the way round. Go around, don't I? Get the stairs. Okay, I'll keep up. I don't know if we can, or if we would need to, like... Yeah, how do we get? If we go right back on ourselves? Um, yeah, if you go left this here, way? yeah. Down. Yeah. Here we go. Which will take us to the portal house, which was a bit of a nightmare. Well, the portal house was right at the beginning. Mm. That was the Burton house. No, the two houses. One which they lived in, and one which was a similar house, but with portals. Oh, I can't remember that at all. They were, they, the, cause the, this, the house had the layout that was the portals mapping. Do you remember? If you looked at the house, the portals were the same as the house. Wow. Why can't I remember that? I so this house here, Yeah. there's one on the left as well, I think, or maybe on the right. I can't remember. Yeah, so go around, the, go around it. Uh, this is where the guy ran from the axe man. No. This no. Is, this oh, is shit. House. This is that guy. What house? Why do I not remember this? I think I must have pushed out this memory to make space for something else. And there's the, yeah, go to this house. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah, keep going around. That house. Oh. They're the same. They have the same internal layout. Or at least. Is this not where we began? No. This is just a completely different area. Yeah. That's where we came. So go, go right and go up that way. Is there whispering? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, that was you. Is oh, there's the lift there. Oh. That's where we want to go. Right, okay. Over there. Wow. Why don't I remember any of this? What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Well, yeah, it was right stop for us because what we did was we just walked down. Oh, I thought you were saying there was like two of them, two of these houses. That's why there, I was like... Well, there oh. are two, but one of them's... Got yeah, one of them's the portal the house. Solution. Okay. There's a button there you've got to press. Oh, right. To call the lift. Oh, yeah. It doesn't oh. work. Um, it is broken. Oh, how do we go down? Hmm. Whee! Call <laughs> the void. <laughs> call the void. Whee! Wasn't that thing working before? I think we got down there a different way. Oh. Um, but I sure as hell can't remember how. Uh, I don't bloody know. I don't know. So we came down from here, saw this house. How do we get down again? Where's, how do we get to the mine? I feel like we came out of the mine and we're like in that downstairs. Maybe if we go back over the bridge and go. Yeah, go back over the bridge. What does this lead? That goes to the mine. Should we go to the mine? Well, we went down this way, remember? And the mine was closed, and then I went around the side, and it took us up the other way. So maybe there is a path to the mine. So let's go that way. This way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> has this game made more changes since it's played? No, we're playing the Redux version, which I think has slightly nicer graphics. Um, otherwise, it's the exact same. Um, I don't know what Sips did. Obviously, people seem to remember this very strongly as something that Sips played um, ages ago. Mm. I don't know how Sips played it. His probably his angle on it was very different to ours. Um, also, it's a bit sort of, we, we sort of didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. Mm. And we just sort of bl blundered in last time and wandered around and got a bit lost. And missed a bunch of stuff. And we didn't really, really get a very no. firm yeah. grip on what the fuck was going on. We've got a game for us to play next week, by the way. Yeah. That I saw at um, GDC. Ooh. It's called Night Call. Yes. It is um, like, you are like, um, Taxi driver, I think, going around. Um, I heard about this. This sounds awesome. It sounds like a really like cool very idea. Very noir. Yeah. Very Lewis and Lydia. We'll have to get the black and white filter on. Yes. Okay. And I'll wear my. And cut some holes in the. Uh, I'll cut a hat. hole in my hat. Here we go. But it's locked. Yeah, we had this issue before. Do you remember? Let me in. Can we get in? Well, I think there might be a way round. Okay. That we didn't see before. Okay. So if you go around to the left, I took the. Up road instead of the down road. Okay. So um, up here. I don't, I don't, I don't fully know. Is 
Oh, I thought that was a hole. Is that a hole? No. No. It's a rock. So there's his the left. This this road maybe okay, leads to it. This. There might be like a little hole we can crawl in, like a bit of subsidence or something. Sort of forks. Um, so you're a taxi driver, and, and what happens? Oh shit! So he takes us back onto the road. What's up that way? Oh, get to the mine. Hello, this way? No, it's back we came. Uses the road we came along. <sighs> Maybe we need to actually solve a murder. Do you think the mine won't open until a murder's solved? Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. Um, okay, well. Um, mm, okay. All right then. Let's uh, go back and. Ugh, it must be an entrance. How do we get into the go, mine? Go back, go back. You're, go, you're the one with the guide in front of you. Well, <laughs> it's just I've, I've got not a guide. This is very map, loose. It's, it's I've map. got a shit map. You've got a shit map. In Russian. In Russian. <laughs> Why is it in Russian? <laughs> well, I'll find one that's not. Can you, can you find it's out how It's just the one I found. Look. Oh, yeah, it is in Russian. Drop in the snip more. I've got a Russian map. Both. Uh, Bossy or Wetsy. <laughs> probably means mine entrance. Right, go straight straight forward. Okay. Um. I don't know if it's like a case of, yeah, you have to solve some of the murders for, for like doors to unlock and stuff. Or whether you can do anything in any order. Is there like something on the right hand side? You just. Let me in. Okay, well, go go around to go around to the up up bit. Oh. Go up and round, and up then and round. hug the back wall, maybe. What back wall? Hug her, go around. Okay. Now way. Now go right. That way. Yeah. Okay. Not that way. Not that okay. way. We'll take the right fork this time and go to the right. Maybe I just missed it. Okay. Have we been deeper into the forest up the hill yet? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. Is the schedule wrong? I don't know. So take the right fork. Okay. Up here. Yeah. And then look on the right, maybe, up the top around here. It seems to be taking back up, back up the old mountain, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. That it does, that it does. Mm. It's not a very good map, this. I mean, mm. it is in, it's in Russian. Oh, it's not in Russian anymore. What happened to the trifle stream? p is away in Leicester doing the, the um, sort of Dota thing. Oh, cool. And Sips is away, and then Pyrrhon's away next week, and then Sips away the week after. And I don't know. So we're... Might we could try and record it tomorrow morning, but no promises. Promises, promises. Mm. We are the, we are the worst. This is the worst. We've just been wandering around aimlessly. This is not the way. This isn't the or way. Or maybe it is. What's that way? Well, I've gone on a, yeah. I've, right I've gone it. off piste. Oh, I keep wanting to like, I keep half believing. That this is what we should be doing, when actually, all we're doing is running around in circles. We are the worst. Uh, I guess what? a lot of detective work is like this, though. <laughs> aimlessly. Right? Just exactly getting what confused, going down dead be. ends, driving the wrong way. Wandering around aimlessly. It's um, not anywhere here. There's nothing here. Okay. Well, can, can someone look at a guide <laughs> and maybe confirm whether the mine does not open unless you right, I'll look, I'll look, it, I'll look it up. Perhaps. Because if so... Not that complicated. I mean, I'll just do this murder now. Because this one's pretty pretty easy breezy. Can we get... Yeah. I'm so... Okay, let's have a side space. Burnt matches. Okay, let's look at some shit. There we go. There's no alternate entrance. Mine comes later, IRC. The gate is locked, but up the hill behind the main entrance is the cave that leads into the mine. That's what Skadira says. That's what I saw. So we, we, I don't have to do this. Yeah, we can. Should I do it or not? <laughs> I 
<laughs> There's supposed to be an alternate entrance. Like, I don't know why we couldn't see it. But oh, everything's so well hidden in this game. It's so subtle. Do you know what I mean? Maybe yes. we need to be, like, more thorough. I f well, yeah. I've got a good excuse. I'm jet lagged to fuck. <laughs> What's your excuse? <laughs> Graveyard murder. Murder in the mines. Continue along the path behind the church. After walking a bit, you'll find the mine. The gate is locked, but the hill behind the main entrance is a cave that leads to the mine. Crow, 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 crow. There we go. Uh, oh, we remember this. Yeah, like, and the crow dead. is next to that thing. It's not a dead crow, so it's like a um, stone crow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've fallen off a grave. All right, let's go find him. Stone the crows, Lydia. No! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, should I just do this as I start doing this? Or should I abandon ship? Yeah. How long we got? Yeah, to what? <laughs> yeah, you could do it, because it won't even be quick now you know what you're doing, right? There he is, crow boy. Um, so I put the crow in that thing down there, it turns the lights on. And then, um, yeah, that's good. I feel this is okay, because we crow. obviously... And there's body, right? Oh, and all the lights turn on. Oh, yeah, there's the body over here. Hello. What's yeah. There? Chest wound. There's mortem. No blood. Inspect. Facial gut. Shallow. Numinal bleeding. Oh, blood streaks. Oh, lovely. Dagger. Touch. Touch him again. Just keep touching. Okay, I'm going to get... So we need to find all the clues... Info about... Where his around stabbing. the place that that were was how he how what was responsible for his death. Some wheelbarrows there. Oil lamp. Okay, so we've got to find the oil lamp, which is inside the church. Wasn't there a series of weird pieces of paper? Um, what am I thinking of? Where were those pe Oh, that might have been in um, Draugen. Eh? Remember those previous mysteries we done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that was in, like, Sweden or something. Yes. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Although the ending was a bit, like... Meh. Weird. It was all a bit, sort of... I don't know. Sometimes the endings to these things can be very disappointing. And it's funny that, because it leaves such a bad taste in your mouth. These guys should know that people remember the best bit mm. and the end. It's That's like how memory works. It's exactly like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is just tainted in my memory now. I fucking loved Game of Thrones. And now every time I think about it, I'm like, meh. <laughs> Because they ruined it with the ending. You've got to pull off the ending. It's so important. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't like, like work. Think about it more. It's just, oh, it felt so rushed. It was so it was rushed. Garbage. It was a mess. The more I think about it, the more angry it makes me. But I wonder if it was one of these things that was done by committee. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like there were there were people. Too many people said. Oh, well, we can't kill Tadarius. How are we going to sell all the merchandise if she's dead? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or, oh, well, we can't. God, 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 John's got to be king. Of course, hasn't he? But everyone thinks he'll be king, so we can't have him be king. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? Like, it was almost like this. They worked it out. They mathed it out. And as a result, it felt like bullshit mm. instead of reality. Um, it felt like, because reality is woolly and fuzzy and cheap and dirty and wrong and, and horrible. Real, you know, yes. history, real history, yes. was not won by the good guys. It was won by a lot of people who were probably pretty scummy. Yeah. And, you know, history manages to paint us as the winners of being the eternal source of good. Yeah. I think there are examples of history where people who were clearly evil um, 
were defeated, but that informs our current society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think that if we were in a different society, we would be have different beliefs and and cultural, you know. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying. So Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm just saying that you know we we live in we. Like you know, like like the Mongols were pretty awful, you know, yeah, coming pretty, around, pretty killing bad. everyone. Pretty bad. No, well, you have to do the order. Of do the, the order, the numbers. I, yeah. And and and, you know, um, some of the Roman emperors are pretty terrible, and some of the, I'm sure, some, a lot of the people in charge of places have made a lot of bad decisions. You know, a lot look of at history. There's a lot of horrible, terrible, a lot of horrible stuff it? rise to power, and you know. Yeah, I mean. The Mongols. Here he goes. <laughs> Bloody Mongols. We're reading about the Mongols, that's why. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Unique Game of Alters. I've been finished make. I've never watched Game of Thrones. What, what? the, what the hell? Um, I, I can't rant about it because I don't want to. stabby and rapey, those Mongol chaps. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Chad is putting our boy in that crib. Okay, I can't remember. The yes. Going on? No, it's wrong. I've done it wrong. Um, yeah, I can't rant about Game of Thrones because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But I, if Get I out, it's been on for like ten years. I mean the ending, the ending. I can't spoil the ending. Well, everyone knows it's but bad. But it's shit. So what's the point? It's so shit. It's so many, so many errors with it. It makes me vomit. Do a mind vomit. Uh, the, uh, what was was the number one right or wrong? All right, number one wrong was that Bran became king seven king of the seven kingdoms. Like fuck off. They're all sitting around there. This, you know, like, um, council. They don't know who Bran is. He's not proved, proven himself to be a great guy. They don't even know what the fucking three-eyed raven is. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> he can't sire a bloody son or whatever. And, and you've got the what, Yara sitting there who's done all this incredible stuff. And she's like, yes, yes, I, I accept that this, man, this boy who I don't know, who is a three-eyed raven, which I don't know what that is. Yes, he should be king. Oh, yes, good. They'd all be like, no. No, I want to be king. Like, what is this bullshit? They will just accept. Yes, that's great. That sounds great. Yeah, she round would just the get broken. Up and stab him through yeah. the heart. Yeah, she like, no. Oh, she, all she, right, pick another one. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No fucking idea who he is. They don't know what the third eye raven is, so they're not going to be like, wow, that's incredible. Like, why would they just be like, yep, that makes perfect sense. I accept that fully. Oh my god, it pissed me off it's so not much. Not that he's in a wheelchair. It's just in medieval times, like, um, like kings have to be at least show like, like strength fighting, and like, you know, they're fighting yeah. on the battlefield. Like, like I'm not saying that the king of Dawn is obviously in a wheelchair as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's like, uh, you know, obviously a big statesman and stuff. But I think that, you know, it's just so, so kind of out of character to pick oh. a young. Boy, who they don't even really they know don't, the powers of. They don't, yeah, they don't know what the three-eyed raven even is. Not, he's not proven if himself. If anything, they'd be terrified of him. Yeah, and he's weird. He's so sitting there weird. being really weird. They would never, in a million years, agree that. Yep, that's right. Let's have him be our king. Like what? No, they want someone who's like proven themselves. It's absolute bullshit. And then, of course, Daenerys's downfall is like seven, no, eight. No, eight seasons of like this is a person who cares about values and blah 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 and then in two episodes it's like she's a fucking murderer kills everyone she's crazy like what build that up do character development don't just fucking you know spend all this time making us care about her and then my in two friend episodes friend zoned she's guy crazy. died and I don't oh. care about <laughs> <Yeah>. him <laughs> it was just oh it's so rushed like why would why would you do that to us spent so long making us invested in this program and then you just fucked it at the end so I haven't been concentrating on this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I've definitely done that one right. The hell's going on? That's not right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really focusing. Okay. So angry. Okay. So that's not two. What's it? Oh God. That's what is going on? One. That's not two. Uh, let's make this uh, three. So so one is uh, Missy talking Jack, to Ethan's dad. What are you doing? Have you? Why? Why have you? What's going on? I want. To Where's, where have I put two? It's not there. Oh, two is, I the wrong two is them going into the mausoleum. Yeah. Stop it. So Missy is the mum. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So two is them going into the mausoleum. It's this one over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, three is that one. Yeah, that's fine. Four is him oh strangling him in the cemetery. Chad, the hell's going on? Oh, no. 
Oh, that's the last one over there. And then five is him talking to Travis behind the church. Okay. Uh, wait, which one's the strang? No, which one's that's the stabbing? That's the strangle. That's this, this is this is four. four. This is four. Uh, two, three, and then five is up there. Is it automatically gone to five? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's try that. Oh, my boy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Where's Ethan? Cool. She, so she went mental. She just yeah, lost it. Didn't she? Well, they all seem to lose it. They're all like. Possessed. And she killed Uncle Chad. I thought someone else killed him. So they had like a six person family, right? I thought they all burnt in the fire. So there was Grandpa and Grandma. Grandma burned in the fire. Oh, just Grandma died. This was Uncle Chad. He went crazy. It's not right. Two, and then there was. Ethan's our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. Here my, we go. Mine? My, my key. I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just just keep Mom away from I me, all right? I see the tunnel before. She's sick. You're all sick. Okay. All right. So ya. The sleeper must not the sleep. The sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed I'm something. I'm tired. Whatever it was, it got out into uh, the air right. and okay. into the minds of Let's his family. Let's find that sodding tunnel. So basically, I think that was the question was, was remember he, Ethan was playing around in the mouth of the originally and apparently disturbed something that infected his family's. Oh, it let out like a spirit, weird. didn't it? Yeah. And they all sort of believed in the... Thing. And so, like, Chad is bricking up Ethan, isn't he? Yeah. And then Ethan comes out and stabs Chad in the eye, do you remember? Yeah, With yeah, the yeah. crow. Mm. They argue, and then Chad, like, attacks Dale, who's the dad, I guess. But Missy stabs him in the back. Is it Missy that does the stabbing? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. And then they drag him into the into the mausoleum, and she tells Travis. Does she tell Travis. She tells someone. Who does she tell at the end? She tells Travis that the sleeper must not sleep. The sleeper must not sleep. All right. So now I've got to find that tunnel. Story so far. Oh, it's. Hmm. How would you How would you summarize the story so far? We are a private detective, psychic detective, like psych, only boring, not funny, and also have no character whatsoever. We work for a detective agency. We got a message from Ethan, psychic letter through Hogwarts mail, and it was like, <laughs> "Dear fucking detectives, Lizia and Lewis." <laughs> Lizia and Lewis. <laughs> we need you to come to this place this town in a terrifying psychic bubble where everyone has died and there's loads of weird shit. There's lots of psychic <laughs> energy wasting around, pissing about ghosts. Ghosts fucking everywhere. Ghosts fucking pissing around. Ghosts. Up there. And um, so we need just to figure out what happened here. To I, also, I've gone missing. Also, I'm missing. Please find me. <laughs> Please find me. I vanished. I have vanished. We only That's got that the from the title of the, title of, the game. <laughs> of the game. What's that there on the right view? Nothing. Um, That's weird. Like a purple glowy boy. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of amethyst. Ooh. Not up there. Not up yeah, here. There. Where am I going? Well, this goes back around to the gate. So maybe it's like... Yeah, where the hell? Where the bloody hell is this tunnel? It must be around here somewhere. I think that's. I think we went up here before and gave this a good old scanning. Go, Go left. Left. Yeah, go just go back and find the gate first of all if you can. And have a look above from at the gate at the mine entrance from above. Is it the gates? Is it down here? Yeah. Is it like there? Like, can I get down? I can't get down there. Over here. <laughs> See, that's the gate. That is the mine gate. Yeah, down here. So there's a tunnel around it somewhere. That glowing. Oh, that's a glowing thingy. There we go. This wasn't there before, was it? I feel like this has like become become, uh, become a thing since we solved, solved the woman's murder. 
maybe. Not the woman, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, yes, and so we know that Missy drowned it herself. Drowned it in, in, in the lift. Somehow. Okay. She drowned herself. We don't know who drowned her. We need to find out. We need to learn. Oh, we need to investigate the crime scene. Can I open it from this end? I bet you, you can. No. <laughs> Cannot. You cannot do that. <laughs> okay. All right, Missy. You horrible, horrible bitch. I'm going to solve your death. Well, she was the mum. Yeah, but she was horrible. Oh, she was, wasn't she? She left that note. Just think. Oh. Well, I don't think she was that horrible. Let's just say she was She was bad. She wasn't there yet. Yeah. She wasn't, wasn't the best. She wasn't nice. Ooh. Right. Come on, then. Um, why did you send the lift down? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Is that, that even where we want to go? Is that not what I was supposed to do? I mean, it just, it was shining. Where I think I was supposed to. Where else did go? Is that, is this down to the, this might be going down to the puzzle anyway. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Ah, I've got like cramp in my hand. All right. Do you want me to play? You yes. Okay? Yes. Have you been away for too long? I honestly haven't played like a video game for like two weeks and now my hand is cramping. <laughs> What's wrong? I guess my my limbs aren't used to it. Just my little finger has gone all like stuck. <laughs> You've holding down shift? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, holding down shift. Two weeks of no videos. What was that like? Um, It was all right because I was so distracted. I did play a little bit of Undertale on my Switch. Okay. Have you played Undertale? Yeah, it's, it's good. really good. It's really, good. It's really, really, really good. funny. Yeah, I really like it. It's really good. I want to play through it again because you know there's like loads of different. Well, not loads, but there's different endings. Yeah, so you can go through it without killing everyone. anyone. But I feel like you have to have played through it once to do that. Yeah. You, otherwise, you accidentally make the mistake. Exactly. But I read something and it was like you should do it first as a pacifist run. But like, how would you know how to do that on the first run? I, I feel like that's the difficulty. Like. Sometimes it's not obvious how, like it's almost like a little puzzle sometimes. Yeah. To find out how to kill someone without without hurting them. Hurting so you got to do the like actions, don't you? Yeah. Like, but I I couldn't. There were things. And like I sometimes it wasn't clear to me what wasn't killing them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? In no, I know what cases. you mean. I love the skeleton in it, the shouty man who you get who can call on the cell phone. What's his name? Papyrus or something yeah. like that. You can well, they're a date all with fonts, him. aren't they? They're, they're all named after fonts. Oh, are they? I didn't the even know. The fonts that they have, their text. Oh, really? Like oh, Papyrus shit. Is the font. Oh, fuck. Papyrus, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. Learn something new air day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Also, it's really well timed that my wrist, uh, my little finger started hurting because this is where it gets spooky. <laughs> no, but this is, um, this isn't a spooky mine. Where's your spooky mine? The spooky mine's like down stairs. But it will get spooky at some point. No, I don't think we, we're not going to do the spooky puzzle. No? It's too spooky for... Too spooky for you. It's too spooky for us. See, this is where she was, right? Oh, shit. You pull this down and then she's like... Bah. It's like... Bah, bah, bah. Yep, I got drowned, I did. Hey, guys. It's me. Her body's remarkably well preserved. I mean, it would be a mess, wouldn't it, being in water? Be all like shoggy, like when you're in the bath too long. Okay, how do you think she died? Drowned. <laughs> do you think she drowned? I mean, maybe not. It's never actually how it looks like, is it? Okay, so we need to find things. This, yeah, this is the murder we didn't solve. We need to find clues, Lydia. Okay, clues. Oh yeah, because there's a missing pickaxe. Oh, so maybe, yeah. Maybe maybe she was already dead when she was in the water. Pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. Fuck me. <laughs> Where is this? I don't know. I mean, is it underwater? Darkness. How am I gonna find that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what's that thing? Can you interact with that? No. You just like minecart controls. Oh yeah, there's a cart here, isn't there? Which we oh, oh, you can do something. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it might be um, awkward. Oh no. 
cut dry for Here we go. Bam! Stuck. Oh, because there's a thing in the way. Can you go back? Hmm. Maybe we can, like, get a bun up. Okay. Smash the wall. On you! Yes! Nice! Oh my god. It worked! I didn't think that was going to work. Neither did I. <laughs> oh, now we're on a little Yay, ride. Yay, this is fun. Right, so now we can go around this way. Can you, like... Ooh, yeah. I want to light up. <gasps> ha! Spe inspect! Inspect! <laughs> Alright. Uh, this, this, this. Oh my god, it's so dark. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. So yes! Put a pickaxe into the power. Ooh. No, Smith. Gonna, just gonna drive this down and see if there's anything else we can spend. What did we play where there was a mine in recently? Oh, Sherlock Holmes. In oh, the yeah. Roman thingy. I don't think there's much more down here. Yeah. Ah, wow! Oh. Bless you. Bless <laughs> you! Oh. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good sneeze. <laughs> Does the dragon also have a mind? Is there a mining dragon? Uh, uh, maybe. I'm trying to think. Uh, Rip keyboard, yeah. No, don't worry. It's contained to just the area in front of me. <laughs> mm. yeah. Yummy. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, tasty. On the non redux version, the dark is way worse, really. Oh, it's, oh okay. So you couldn't see shit. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, do you two only play, like, mysteries together, or is it Zoom playing? It's mysterious games only. That's mm. the rules. We just want a time where we can chat about all the grisly murder, horrible stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I'm trying to think if I've read anything grisly when I was away. I had to actually stop myself because I was listening to this podcast. Yeah. And it was basically, it's, it's a podcast narrated by this Australian guy. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Look it up. <laughs> but he does this incredibly dramatic reading voice, which makes everything sound so poisonous. Ooh. Like, if you read anything, it's like, you know, sometimes you watch a movie and they play the sad music. And it's not really that sad because of the sad music. It's like, oh, oh you're tricking me and I'm feeling all emotional yeah, now. Yeah, music has a like that. big trigger. It's a that, little bit yeah. like that. And his dramatic reading makes everything sound so awful. Um, anyway, he did like, I listened to him podcast. I was like, I was like, oh, I was like really affected by it. But then afterwards, I was like, what, why was I, I didn't, actually it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was just the music. Well, not just the it music, just but the like, way he was reading. like, yeah. Anyway, I couldn't. I couldn't couldn't handle it. it. Was it a murder? Case file. That's what it's called. Dusty Scabbard. It has like five minutes of ads at the start of him reading all the ads in a really dramatic oh, really? voice. <laughs> That's brilliant. Sometimes your teeth are literally going to fall out of your mouth because of the rot. Is that an Australian accent? Well, no. <laughs> so, sometimes, some, sometimes the teeth are literally going to fall out of your mouth <laughs> because of all the sweets you eat. You should get this toothbrush. <laughs> If you get this toothbrush, maybe you won't die. It's like that. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. It's like, kind of like. I want that toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my teeth like, to rot. It's like really kind of scary. Anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, please stop. Oh, Jesus. And all, all the lollies. All the lollies you guys are eating. When we were, st we basically stayed in motels um, and we were reading about motel murders whilst we were staying in them. Yeah. And that was not a good thing to do because, yeah. <laughs> It's real scary. Anyway, I, they're, they're very dramatic. And, and I, I, I think I started listening to one the other day. Yeah. And it was like, this podcast contains serial child murder. Oh, I was God. like, oh, God, I don't think I'm going to end. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I was like, I was like there's, a, there's a limit. Yeah, you know I mean? that, that, that's my, I'm done. That's me done. I was like, I was like <laughs> whoop, whoop, that'll do it. <laughs> Um. I find the Australian accent would take away, no offence to Australians watching, but would take away the, the spookiness for me. It's just, you know. Well, actually, it does the opposite. Oh, really? It seems it's really deranged. 
Like I, I listened to like some of the first ones, the very first ones, just to see if he'd always had that spiel. That yeah. Tone. And it's definitely got more pronounced. I like really. It started off fairly dramatic, but it got like it started to get super dramatic. Oh my god, it's like a shambling zombie. Oh, it's like um, Shining. No, I'll work and no play, Mitch Jack, pickaxe boy. I have watched Wolf Creek. We were talking about that the other week. Oh god, Arkansas. we were. Yeah, that is, it is the horrific. fucking worst. Don't watch it. That is like literally the only horror movie that I've un I've had to just stop watching because I was like, I just can't handle this. And especially now, after like doing a road trip with my friends, just three girls like, and staying in motels, reading about motel murder. Yeah, it, that's a stupid idea. Okay, so what do you think happened here? These two entered the cavern. They together, entered the cavern looking for, looking for him, right? Because he said he wanted to go into the Ethan. mine. Yeah, Ethan. and then um, did they get separated? Because it's just, oh no, what's this over here? Um, well, look, she, I mean, the, first of all, she isn't in any of these. So does she go in the lift and he locks her in there? And, and then he gets the pickaxe. And breaks the... He gets the pickaxe. He goes and breaks the power. Smashes the power down the line. And then... Oh, no. Or does he drop her first and then go and smash the power? No. Does he drop her first? Drop her and then smash the power so she can't get back up again? Yeah, I think that's it. So I think she, he drops her first. And then he goes and smashes the power so no one gets the pickaxe. Then he goes and smashes the power so no one can... Let's see. Probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Shit. That was probably a raccoon. No. No, I don't think it was. He's just a kid. He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. That's it. Oh, boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. She's going up there. Mm. To get away. It's the sleepers. So she hears a noise up there. Listen. Listen to yourself. No. I see oh. clearly. Okay, so he sends her up. Up to go so she can go find Ethan. But then he goes and breaks, he breaks the lift. It. He stops it and breaks Dale. it to kill her. What are you doing? Sort of comes to his senses a bit. Oh, what was that? I don't get what he was trying to do there. Dale, you miserable coward! Let me out! The sleeper demands to rise! Oh, the agree. sleeper must wake up! The sleeper I must just drowned wake her. up! The sleeper must... <laughs> oh, he broke the lock so she couldn't get out, right? I mean, I can't, she kind of deserved it, to be honest. I mean... I mean... Uh, Don't feel that sorry for her. Uh, 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 Where's Mom? Oh, there's more. I thought I heard oh. her voice. She's um, still looking for you. Y you need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I'm oh, Travis is my brother. Go mm. now. Oh, and then they have their little alteration, don't they? Yeah, sorry, so Travis... He didn't kill his wife. He didn't kill his she wife. Was no longer she was no she longer who she once was. was. Neither was he. Neither was he. <gasps> Something was using all this pain and death. Something was becoming stronger. What a good cliffhanger to leave it on. All right, I'm gonna we're gonna have a quick break while I run back and quickly do the first puzzle. Oh, okay. Um, because then we might be able to actually finish. Get to the end of the game. What the man with no legs? Yeah. How do we get the fuck out of here? I don't know. I'll have a break. Go and get yourselves a cup of tea. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye ya bye. Bye ya bye.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm just driving a train. Don't mind me. Um, okay. Just doing this murder. Just doing a murder. Solving a murder. Sorry. <laughs> don't, don't isolate that. Um, beep, beep. Hopefully, I guess I'm going to run over his severed leg again. Just, just rip. Just rip. Um, maybe I'll see if I look like here. Probably. Somewhere along here. It's probably about right. Isn't it? Made a noise. Um, so this guy, of course, Travis, I think the brother of Ethan, he tried to kill Ethan by running him over with a train. The most elaborate um, murder that, that, that there could possibly be. Um, I think he was saved by the granddad, Ed. Um, yeah, he was clobbered on the head by him, actually, I think. I think this is him dying. And, like, being... Yeah, there you go. There's old... Old Ed. Old clobbering. Gave him a good old clobbering. Uh, this is where they had a confrontation. I think clobbered him with a rock, first of all. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back, Lydia. Sorry. That's all right. You got chatting, I know. Who, I know. who were you chatting to? Oh, shit. I was chatting to Ross. And I was just having a conversation about Vegas. You've lost your oh, noble. Where's somewhere. my thing come? There it is. You've lost your, your noble. There you go. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh. I chat about Vegas and then suddenly I was like, fuck! <laughs> uh, what happened? What did I miss? <laughs> Don't worry, I've just gone back and I'm tidying up this. Oh, okay. So remember, Ethan was tied to the thing by Travis, his big brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was like, this is the simplest way for me to kill you. Um... Oh, trap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And then Grandad was like, hang on a second. That's my boy. What you, I've seen what's going on. I'm yeah. going to grab this rock. This looks like a perfectly shaped rock. And then he's like, hi, are you <laughs> about to run over my grandson? <laughs> he's like, yep. That's right. That's right. And then I think um, he falls and staggers over here. Yeah, because he hits him around the head. And then he follows him as he crawls without any legs. Oh. Here. And to smashes eventually him. die. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. See, they've all gone loopy. Like they've all been gone cozy. completely fruit loops. How come the granddad hasn't? It's all that sap. Or maybe it is. Honey, I wish there was another way. Why? Oh, yeah, because this is... That is dead wife. What? Gail, honey. Gail, honey. Well, I guess he's just Travis, sort of... tell me where Ethan is. So Travis yeah. is his grandchild as well. Sleeper, what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. Oh, maybe not. Need to go home. <gasps> oh! See, so who do you think the sleeper is? That's like the demon, no? Is it all a dream? Yeah. Ethan escapes. He collapses to the floor and gets hit by. A no. I mean, this Ooh. is all very like convenient. <laughs> I, I don't know. They've never losing Ethan your legs. Ethan managed to escape the road on his own. <laughs> he <laughs> fell on the tracks. Get out of here. Do you know what I mean? Like the whole thing doesn't fit together. In what? my head, what, what too do you many mean? potholes. What? I well, Ethan managed to escape the ropes on his own. I guess maybe. Travis never went to scouts. He doesn't know how to how tie a good strong knot. And Travis, like, just when he gets hit on the head, he staggers down and the just rails. just lays on the tracks. Goes, oh, no. Oh, my legs. And the old man just <laughs> fucking runs it in with the train anyway. Yeah, why does he do that? He's already smacked he around the like, head. He hasn't, like, checked that Ethan's not off the rails quite yet. What? I mean, I think there's more plot holes if we're going to really look deep into this game. <laughs> It's, it's just full of them. It's like a Swiss it's cheese, It's Swiss Lydia. cheese. It's delicious. It's like a Swiss, delicious cheese, Swiss cheese. cheese. Was Travis his older brother? Yes. The one who wrote Gaylord. Right. So the granddad 
killed his grandchild. Sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Oh god, run. Run. So he fled from his grandpappy. Grandpappy. Grandpapa. So even the grandpapa finally succumbed. Family against him. The grandfather was trying to He was trying to resist it. Age okay. Against those things that feed on hate. Age the older you are, the better. Not because of wisdom or experience. The older tired. Because the older are tired. Their hate is less useful. Um, I thought old people hate everything, though. Are the old, are the old tired? Are I mean, old people tired? <laughs> I think you'd be a bit knackered, wouldn't you? <laughs> just, just being old. I don't know. Like, I'm scared. I thought old people sleep all I don't, the time. I wonder what it's going to be like to get old. Well, I thought old people, like, sort of, you know, you wake up, you have breakfast, you go for a nap. <laughs> You watch TV, do a crossword, and go to sleep really early. Why do people... Put, for us, I assume it'll be playing playing play games. games. Wake up, play games, go back play to Dota. sleep. Play a bit of Dota. Do you reckon there'll be like an OAP Dota League? <laughs> do you know I mean? I hope so. Online. I really hope so. Like old folks. <laughs> you suddenly care a lot more about things that don't affect you. I thought like when you're older, you don't stop caring about shit because you're like, ugh. I think there's a certain turning point, though. I've seen this like in a little bit with like people who are parents. They, they start... They start becoming less selfish and more focused on their kids. Yeah. A lot of people, like, kind of are more worried about climate change because they know it's going to affect their yeah, kids than, yeah, yeah. than they are. Do you, you, you see what I mean? Yeah. It's a, it's a fundamental, like, shift in thought um, that, that there's a different... Your, your priority Something shift, with more... Maybe. Yeah, something... What? Show me. Yeah, no. Well, I guess it's like when you're in your when you're a teenager, you care so much about what other people think about you that it's like cr it's crippling how much you care. And the older you get, the more you're just I mean, like, the more you realise yeah, that you don't care about other people. Yeah, exactly. So and therefore, they, they don't probably care about you. Shit about what you're doing. Exactly. Like, and maybe maybe that sort of caring what people think about you never truly goes away, but it definitely becomes less like. You all consuming. Definitely does as you get older. Yeah, you, you get, care give less shit yeah. about what people think about you. Yeah, um, because you realise that it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It's just a yeah. It's just a waste of time worrying about stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's true. Like you don't, you know, we don't spend our time constantly thinking about what other people. You know, like we're worrying about ourselves, just like everyone else is worrying about themselves as well. Everyone's too focused on themselves to care about really mm. well. people. And people will, will judge you and mock you or appear to say, yeah. oh, nice shoes or whatever. Like, but they don't really <laughs> care. My shoes. I mean, a lot of that is just out of politeness. Yeah. You know, you know when you look at like um, people who are like psychopaths or sociopaths, you know, they're never focused on what anyone else is doing. You know, well, really, they, they they're, they're they focused do. on themselves mm. entirely in their own head. Well, completely. Well, they're they don't incredibly have any selfish. Any guilt. And so I think when you look at normal people who are obviously not, it's almost like we have to act to care about. Mm. Well, but some people that are obviously, you're obviously empathic and sympathetic automatically towards other people's feelings. Yeah. Which sociopathic people aren't necessarily. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying that it's kind of. Um, it's kind of a higher thinking, higher like function. It's yeah. not like it's, it's beyond the animal brain. Yeah. The sort of the monkey who wants to just eat and um, play Dota. <laughs> Psychopaths are, are actually like terrifying. Like, cause we were watching that Ted Bundy documentary and him just like, just didn't care. Just literally had no guilt. No qualms. Whatsoever about no. what he'd done. Didn't, him, didn't really understand that anyone else had feelings or they did, just didn't feel. Yeah, just like it meant just absolutely nothing to him. That's so terrifying not to feel any kind of guilt. How do we get this lift working? That's Hi, cool. Boof. How do we get down? Sorry, We're Boof. We're talking about psychopaths and murder. How do we get down? <laughs> and lifts. Um, I think we went through the mine and we came out the other side. Oh, you're right. We came out the bottom. Yeah. Oh, you're totally right. I know. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> we've done the graveyard. We've done... Have we done the, the, this, 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 this thing in this house? What was this house all about? Do you remember? Uh, yes. This was the one where they burned it. This, this was the guy making moonshine, oh, right? The granddad. They're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing. Oh, this thing? What? A sleeper. And we found that special room, which looked all magical at first, and then... 
It turned out that's where he was like making his booze. Yeah, do we have to do that? I feel like that was a puzzle. There was no murder in it. It was just a puzzle. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Is there a murder here? Was there like some sort of... Was this... Do we need to do something here? No one died. Oh, apart from old Grandma. Granny. Old Granny Gladys. But we didn't find her charred remains or anything. It was just a puzzle Travis to find the room that he was making the alcohol in. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. Oh, you're crazy. You've all gone crazy. So who's speaking there? You're That's crazy. Travis. That's Travis. Okay, so it hasn't got him. That's the parents talking to Travis about saying you're going to have to help us give Ethan to the sleeper. So I, I guess over time they were more and more corrupted and, e yeah. and each one of them went... Bad. Ah, this is, the family. this is the family. So there's Ethan on the left, Ed, Grandad, Travis, Mum, Missy, Dale. Dale, and Chad. Yeah. All right, and Granny's not there. So I guess there isn't a there isn't a, a murder here. What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. What room did he walk into? See, we didn't get this before because we kept going. Reading the thing and making it go all magical, didn't we? Yeah. Well, no, this is the different house. Oh, a different house, right. This is the, this is the house. The other house is the house of the portals. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether we need to do that. I don't think we do. So, back to the mine. Back to the like mines. The hundredth time. With the spooky boy. All right. Oh, that means we have to go back into the... Oh, my God. We have to go back into the mine, down the... Down the thing. The spooky boy is a different puzzle. We don't need to do that. But you're right, we need to come out at ground level. And then I think once that's activated, we can then take the lift up and down. Yeah. And then that's... Yeah, and then we need to do the axe good. murder. And then there's one more, I think. Um, um, yeah, we're, we're Thursday mystery men now. We're on Thursdays now. Yeah. For the next few weeks, at least, because... Um, P Flax and Sips are both away for trifles, um, so we can't really do that. We, we struggled to do it anyway because P Flax and Sips were so flaky, mm -hmm. like, um, a, like a good pastry. But also, I think P Flax and Sips and I have very different tasting games, mm -hmm. um, and therefore it was quite awkward to play games together that we all both liked, especially since they're both out of the office. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't so something. easy to like kind of do it. Do it, do it, do. Do it. Yeah, you gotta find something which like they're flaky boys. You gotta find something which is I guess online, but all three of you like enough to play for three hours. Oh bloody hell. What have you done? Oh no, it's this way. It's gone the wrong bloody way. No, I've gone the right way. It's down around here. I'm I remember. I remember now. Landmarks. This is how like we remember stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. You have to have like things that stand out otherwise you're just gonna get lost yeah i, I think i I'm, have a terrible sense i'm very of scared of that sort of stuff sometimes like sometimes you see like a forest and you think okay if i go into this forest and get turned around oh you'd be fucked sometimes those forests just there's you are you're fucked you are just unless you can like would you be able to read the stars to get but you, you wouldn't out, think North of a forest as being scary okay that's terrifying but i think sometimes you think oh god like what if my mobile phone like doesn't have signal. Mm. Which it probably like, wouldn't in a forest. Or like, um, you know, I, I just get lost or, I, or it breaks. Or the desert. Or it runs out of battery. You know? I think it's terrifying being stuck somewhere which is really hot and you can't get shade. So you're just like burning. In the desert? Yeah. Or like on an island. I like, don't know how people will last the sun, long. The sunburn would just... I mean, you wouldn't last very long at I used all. to read a lot about these people who... Um, there's a lot of really cool stories about how people survive plane crashes in remote locations. Mm. You know, like in the desert mm. or in the jungle. Mm -hmm. And s very few of them survive. But a couple of them do. And it's really interesting to hear how they, how they actually survive. Uh, yeah. There's a lot, um, a lot of like... And it's pretty grisly, actually. There's a lot Cannibalism? of... Like, a lot of people crashing them, like planes crashing the mountains and things like this, like especially like flying from like Shit, South yeah, America, America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and some of this area in the jungle and the mountains are just so remote. 
so like completely remote. I'd be screwed. I wouldn't know the first thing about survival. Where the fuck am I going? Drink your own pee. But you can't even really do that. You can do it like once and then it poisons you, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I don't think you should really be <laughs> recycling your own pee no. too, too much. Pretty sure I saw that on an episode of Blackadder. People always drinking their own pee, honestly, all the time in those bloody shows. <laughs> Can't they get love enough it. of it. They love it. Is it this way? Um, I don't Do you know what I mean? No. Maybe? <laughs> because originally we went down some horrible shaft. Do you remember? Uh, with this, yeah. That hor like maze area with the uh, horrible boy. The mine maze. Mine man. Mine man. Mine man. Ooh. Fighter of the... Night man. Night man. Let's try something else. <laughs> My brain is like... Ooh. Officially. Like, what time is it? So it's actually... Wait. Eight, nine, ten. Wait. What's one divided minus eight? <laughs> Wait. I can do this. Twelve. This is it. This is the bloody mine. Uh, ten. Fuck. Three. No. <laughs> 6 a.m. There we go. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, do you have to? No. I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? I think this is the one where you go in, you walk around, you find the thing. It's got a maze. This is the maze. It's only one way in. It's only one way out. We're not doing it. All right. Fuck that. No. Yeah, 0.125. What's up? What's up about one divided? Why are you trying to divide one by eight? I was trying to work out what time it is in, in where I have been... I'm trying to work out what jet lag I'm having right now. Minus. My eight minus what? It's what? It's eight hours behind. When did you get back? Tuesday. Okay. What did you do when you got back? Uh, well, I stayed awake till quite late, and then I slept. And then yesterday I slept all day. Okay. Because <laughs> I was awake. <laughs> I was awake for thirty hours. I was just so shattered. And then I slept last night quite well, but I think, yeah, it takes a few days to like get your brain back to normal. I don't normal. think it's this way. Um, oh, I, I really want to figure out it's how, 5 in LA. how Ooh, to get to hell. this place without it being like a, pa a complete disaster. Um, you can do it! Oh yeah, we want to find the bubbling green water. Do you remember that? Okay. Um, yeah, maybe we do need to go this way. Because remember, didn't you swim through the, the... Do you remember he told us, the dad said... Oh, isn't it acid? And you were like, no. It's not oh, yeah. He's like, it's a chemical reaction. No, he says it's boiling. And he's 7 like, 7 a.m. at the Midwest. Reaction. Only at work. Bubbling green water, A. What does Booth What does Booth mean by that? I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. I feel like she's like insinuating something. Bubbling green water. A. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> um, sorry, is this something? P. Wait, is your P green, Booth? Because <laughs> it shouldn't be green. That's not even dehydrated. That's Ah, uh, yes. You went through the thermal spas, remember, before. Ah, uh, yes. You went through this. Okay. Oh, and I feel scared because I thought he was going to, like, grab my leg or something. Yeah. Last time, we made quite a lot of progress. Don't worry, guys. Next week, we'll have lost the progress again. And Well, well next week, we're playing the other game, aren't we? Oh, the yeah, that's game. right. That's the, I, I hope we can get this finished today. That's the idea. And it would be annoying just to leave it, like, ah, oh, again. Well, I don't think it's a very long game. I think it's only like four hours or something. Um, but we sort of stretched it out due to our in incompetence. Yes. Um, well, okay. So we've already dealt with mum. Mum's dead. Mum's dead. Uncle's dead. Uncle's dead. Brother's dead. Brother's dead. The first you walked into. Yeah. Grandma's dead. Grandma's dead. Three, three left. We don't know what happened to granddad, do we? I know we don't. Wah, 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 wah. I'm so sorry. It's all right. So this is the this is the house where the axe murder happened. Yes, we can do this pretty easy. Yeah, this wasn't too 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 complicated. It was like here's Johnny, and then uh, the guy just kills himself, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So there was a guy. Didn't he get this scissored? Guy. Oh, is this the dad? He got scissored. Yeah. Yeah, he got scissored. He got a punctured throat. He got scissored. <laughs> we'll put the axe back. Um, we need to figure out how he died. 
Scissors, scissors. Scissored himself. Scissors, it was a scissors. M- modern miracle. I am the very modern lover, modern making lyrical. Modern making lyrical. I am. I have a very s- s- firm agreement that this dream is trivial. <laughs> and if you <laughs> don't agree, then you should give yourself some cereal. A physical. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> some cereal. Both. <laughs> Should you give yourself a physical? What does that mean? I don't know. Like, get yourself checked out. <laughs> <laughs> and have some cereal. All right. Where are you going? Where were the spools? I thought you were doing this Here's Johnny murder. I was. I wanted to I wanted to do the Here's Johnny murder, but I wish there was this. Yeah. And the, where were those, those spools? It's like w- big wooden spools. Oh, yeah, there was, wasn't there? It was in the, um, over there, yeah, in the uh, lift. Is it by the lift? It was inside it, wasn't it? It's like around here somewhere. There it is, yeah, in there. Spools. We did already play Quantum Impulsion. We are uh, doing all the bits we didn't do last time and hopefully finishing it. Yes, a spool. We're trying to... Sorry, we're having to replay this bit because we lost the save and we're stupid. Yeah, we, oh yeah, that's the, the main reason we lost the save. We should... Oh, man. Every time we do, like, a little stupid thing yeah. like that, we should... I, I just want to make it into a proper song. Yeah. <laughs> I might release it. Okay, well, it could be the next Yorks Cast hit. Yeah. <laughs> the next YouTube sensation. I need it on a notebook. So I can write it down. Okay, now we need to remember what happened to this guy. It was, I think it was fairly simple. It was simple, quite wasn't simple, wasn't it? Like it? Because the guy, it was like a linear sort of up the stairs. A guy came at him with an axe. He ran away. He used the axe to chop down the door. But then didn't he fight back, kill the other guy? Like, so wasn't it originally like Dale had the axe? Mm. Remember? Yes, he did. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have run down, I don't think. So. No, it's okay, because this is where it starts. No, I have to reveal all that before it can start. So, yeah. Oh, I see. I should have, I have to go back upstairs, I guess. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. And then he chops down the, the doer. One, two. Button my shoe. Three, Three four. four. Open the door. Five, six. Five, six. Pick Stick up Stick it in quick. Seven, eight. Don't wait. Two, don't wait. <laughs> don't wait to let wait. Don't, don't. wait. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Oh, that's right. This guy. All oh, right, and he was gonna. Oh, whack him, he was like waiting, like. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was gonna whack him. He's gonna give him a whacking. And then he decided to be like, um, "Don't attack me. I didn't do anything wrong. Um, please don't please attack me. Please don't do. Please, please don't, don't do me like this. Ask me I'm in just the a, face. Just a noob." Hey, hey, And then hey, he was like, hey. oh, here's... Here's Chad. Johnny. What's his name? Here's Travis. There we go. hey Oh, I missed. What a, what a, I mean, what a what miss. What a hopeless miss. <laughs> she didn't have an accident. She, we saw what happened. He drowned her. He drowned her, but he he's drowned lying. Her. He drowned her. He drowned her. Bloody Ethan! Bloody Ethan! All your fault, Ethan. If you weren't such a nosy twat, upstart head in the clouds, he wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Burn Vandegrift's room. Just, just, just leave me alone. Vandegrift does sound like a kind of. Doesn't it sound like um? It sounds like Vandegraaff, obviously, which sounds like the Vandegraaff generator, that thing that you hold on to and your hair all stands up. Oh right, yeah. Remember that thing? No. Um, <laughs> it's like they do have it for all schools. You ha- it's a big orb, the big metal. Oh, orb. that thing! The thing yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, a squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like a rope. It's like a steampunk squid. Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. Van der Griff generator, but yeah, it sounds like science, doesn't it? It sounds. Oh. Oh, and that's right. Scissoring like, himself. Like, don't, you don't even need to ask me a question. You can just scissor yourself I'll to just death. Do it on your own. Oh, so he's still alive. I thought they both died for some reason. So Travis, he died on the train at the end. 
<laughs> Dale died here. Missy died to my. You know how Grandad died? The uncle's dead. That's only Ethan left. <laughs> so it's only Grandpa. Right, let's go find Grandpappy. And Ethan. No, so I guess Ethan ran to burn the room. Yeah. And Grandad was there. He's like, no, that's where I, I put and my so sack. I guess the last one we're going to see is Ethan killing Grandpa or and burning the room or mm -hmm. the grandma grandpa being burned by Ethan in in the room like Ethan traps him in the room and burns him what's this where is it going where is it going where is it, going? Where is it bloody gone gone bloody miles it's yes. bloody miles mate um but wait that other guy's still alive this room was this this is open now oh it was closed before all right that's good aha And that's when he takes, Travis takes him to the, that's when Travis this takes him to the thing. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. What? Yes. 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 What? Yeah. Mm. What's this way? I can feel it sitting somewhere out there. That is a bullfrog digesting. Can you guys hear this audio? Sorry. It's very quiet. Super quiet. You can hear it. Good. Good. Okay, we need to get... I think it's for that house in there. Or factory or whatever that is. We need to get... We need to get to the other... Uh, there's, there's another place, apparently. I don't know how we get across. Oh, wait, you want me to explore that house more? I just... Was it... Was the I Dam like House. Maybe there'd be something more in it. El, El Dam House. Right, you can explore it. I'm just going to check, check, check the message as well. Lydia Bowler Headphones. Just donating to this super worthy ah, cause. Yes. Squiddy needs her custom bowler hat headphones. Yay, thank you, Lydia Bowler headphones. Yes, all right, we'll, we'll take a pair of scissors to it. Yeah. I could do it now. Do you want to do it now? Sid, could you go get a, find a pair of scissors in the studio and we'll, we'll, tr we'll see if we can trim it up. Okay, but I'm going to take it off my head before you do it. Because I just feel I'm like not going to do it to I'm, your I'm head. I'm not, bald not insane. And missing a bit of my brain. And I've already got a clip start. to I'm the not, last bit I've got. to go at you with the scissors. <laughs> Um, Go! Oh, right, okay. Uh, there's an active turbine apparently you can shut off here. I'm doing it. Oh, right, really? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Anything else I can shut off in here? I am the very... If you've found and thrown the grenade... It says here, if you found and thrown the grenade, you can leave the building from its back. You will be able to find a sniper rifle. What? If you take it, you will get the hardest steam achievement in this game. What the fuck? There's a sniper rifle There's and a, a grenade? grenade? So I can turn this, but I don't really... What? Why? Ah. Okay, so I think what you're doing is, if you turn them off, it will stop the block the river or dam the river up, so you can walk across the river. Right. Okay. So I want this to be not working. So we want to shut off all of the turbines. I think. I think Were they all going before? Um, that one was. But so everything I guess we else just, is already. We want to shut them all off, if possible. Looks like everything else is already turned off. Okay. There's no scissors. Not within the entire office. Okay. Okay, Sid. My that hair is, and brain has been I'll, saved. I can't believe it, but... It's all right, nope. Um, that's fine. Walk back over to the building where Dale was murdered, and you should be able to cross if you've turned it off. Go on. Yeah. You, you're going looking for the sniper rifle. I'm just going to get a hand back up. Move on the other side. Uh, it's okay. How bizarre. So the where Dale... Scissored. Yeah. Is where I want to go, right? Yeah. Oh. Move lock. Oh. Hmm. That way up the right. right. I want to see the sniper rifle. Oh, up this way? No, round the back. Round the back. Round the back. There's a path. Turn around. What the fuck? What? They're like this way. Up this way. I can't oh go in God, there. I don't think we can. I think we have to have we thrown need the grenade. The grenade. How bizarre. Where is the grenade? I don't know. 
does it say? Ah. I look it up. Um, grenade. Ethan Carter. Oh, dang, a grenade. For I found you. a grenade. Yay. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm going to. Did I tell you? It was on some up? rocks on top of a hill to the left of the train track at the beginning of the game. At the beginning? We're not going back for that. Are you joking me? So I've gone across here. Oh, perfect. That's the way. Yeah. yeah. Go round, and this should lead round. There should be a trail that leads to somewhere next, the next place. The next bit. Yeah. Don't know where it is. I don't know what's around there. I throw a grenade at you. This is the for you. Okay, so that's kind of what this grenade part, <laughs> for you. Okay. Pretty, isn't it? It's looks good. Lovely. Sid was saying in the break that this is like VR. They made it for VR. Oh. VR. I don't know if you want to do that. I, I would feel cool. really sick if I did that. <laughs> You'd be like a vomiting stream. But maybe some people are into that. He would know why I come. Ethan's. He would know. Why Ethan's come. here. This is quite a pass, isn't it, to take? To I mean, the this house. detective would be bloody knackered by now. If you lived out here, you. I mean, how isolated is this? Yeah, no signal. It's really cool, though. Wouldn't you like to have like a really isolated? Be like the kind of place that a drug. Drug kingpin would live. Do you know what I mean? Really? Like with a compound, like, like one entrance, and yeah. guarded by like security, and they grow like they keep all their. It'd be like you know, what's his face? That big, um, you know, big drug baron. What's he called? Um, what's I, the name? I South American, famous. Oh, it'll be famous. Oh, uh, Escobar. Escobar. That's it. Pablo Escobar. Pablo. Would he Thank live you, somewhere Adam. like this? But how would he get his drugs to all his um, friends? Oh, fuck. Hello. Look at this house. It's fucked. It's fucked. Oh, shit. Do you, maybe this was... Maybe this Ethan burned this house down. This is the house that Ethan burnt. So maybe he did stop it. Maybe he st did stop the sleeper. But did he get burned too? Did he escape? Is he a little... Is he still is alive? He is the spirit with us? Chicken? Is he in the basement? Is there a basement? Uh, it's still hot burning the embers. It's I only mean, recent. This would really be hurting our feet. This is only recently burned down. Maybe if we'd been quicker, Lydia, we would have got <laughs> here in time. This is all our your fault. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. No. Corvus. Corvus, no. Corvus sounds like. Corvus. Oh, no, it's a puzzle. Do I have to make it say Corvus? Maybe. Yeah. Start with the one which has got the C on that one, yeah. Corvus. Cor? Corvus. V. U. Corvus. I did it, but I can't open the door. What? C O R V U. Huh? Oh. That was something. Change. Ah. Closed door. Oh, oh, it's opening over there. <laughs> I thought it was going to open up underneath. There is a basement. I yes. can't believe it. I, I better be down here, that scamp. Ethan. Mm. Oh, my God. Hang on a second. Uh, oh, my God. It's a charred remains. Is this granddad or, or the other guy? Travis. Travis is dead. Uh, Dale. Dale's dead. Uh, the other one. They're all dead. Really? Granddad and Ethan are the only people left. I thought that was that other guy. So look, Travis was the brother. He got killed by a train. Yes. Dale was the dad. Oh, it's Granddad. He got killed by Travis. Right. Mum, Missy was the mum. She yeah. got killed by Dale. Yeah. Um, D Chad was the uncle. Yeah. He got killed by Missy. Right. Everyone killed someone. Okay. Apart from Grandpappy. Grandpappy. Who... Managed to bring Ethan down here and helped him burn it. Yeah. The bad By one. the looks. Oh, yeah. And that's the sealed room. Oh, fuck. Maybe they did burn it after all. Mm -hmm. So let's do the chronology. Okay, right. So, so they turned up with some... They turned up with some... They here were like, we are. 
Oh, let's burn this room down. Let's burn it down. And they're like, yeah, I want to do that. Do we move the table? What was that? I don't understand that bit. And then what's this? And then that happened, I guess. They tried to open this room. And then he's like, oh, take and me And then he fire. burned to death. Take me. Is that right? Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vanderbilt's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. For Look. someone has to suffer. Ah! Oh my god, this horrible corpse is Corpses! I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vanderbilt kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Oh my god, what does he do? Did he like concrete in people into the walls? Looks like it, yeah. To make them suffer. And they Ooh. open the door to this super I creepy mega through. room of doom. The and room of went doom. through. The doom room! But old grandpappy couldn't make Aww. it. So he, uh, oh. Grandpa! No! You asshole, Grandpa. And then Grandpa burns the whole thing to the ground. It has to oh, be so he way. was evil. The sleeper must not wake. So they all burn to death? Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! Uh-oh. We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Wow. He's, he's taking this very well. He is, isn't he? Yeah. So Grandpa was evil, Karmic. He was lying when he said Gail was protecting him. Oh, I see. He was he was corrupted by the sleeper as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go find see what the fuck happened to Ethan. Look at this room, isn't it fucking terrifying? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yikes. It's got like had his like mouth sewn up, look. Mm. And they were like just were they just locked in concrete? I guess. Why uh, does he have them on these horrible like display things? Who built this? It must take a long time. Did he build it himself? <laughs> you know I mean, I always wonder how evil people build this. How did this they do crazy this? Shit. Yeah, I mean, you'd need to get, you know. It's like you get a builder and he's like, all right. Hey, good. <laughs> hello, my good man. Yes, I'm going to need uh, these six freezes, <laughs> which I'm going to fill up with concrete <laughs> and um, put a display mannequin <laughs> hanging from it. So it needs to hold quite a lot of weight. I would like it so when you rotate the table, which any child could do. <laughs> Um, they all come out of the wall uh, in, in a kind of gory display. Do you think you can Could build it, that for me? Completely innocent, my good man. Just uh, Oh, yeah. Well, you know. it's going to cost you quite a lot, but, you know, I could get the parts probably next week and start working. Me and, me and a few of my boys, we could come in and we could build it for you. But something like that happened in real life recently. There was a guy that um, hired a builder and wanted him to build this, like, room in his basement, which was completely soundproof and uh, had to use, like, a, th a thumbprint to open and, and could hang stuff from the ceiling. And the builder, like, refused to, like, was like, no, nah, I'm not taking that job. It's really weird. And then the guy has come out. He's, he murdered a, a young woman. And um, the builder's come forward and been like, yeah, he wanted me to build this, like, really creepy room, but I wouldn't do it. And I can't, I can't remember what e excuse he used. There was like a reason why he said he wanted to be able to like YouTuber. hang stuff from the ceiling. Put in like um, soundproof, obviously. Yeah, put, soundproof. Put like lights up, like our room. Yeah, okay. You know I mean? But why like does he need a thumbprint here. to get in? Uh, Expensive equipment. Fans. Yes, creepy, okay. Creepy fans. But this guy's not a streamer. <laughs> He's just like a student or something. You know... Just we saying. need a thumbprint to get just in the saying. office. That's true, actually. I can't remember what his excuse BDSM, for what he wanted you know, to hang. Sex. I think sex is always a good one, right? Just, just like, just sex. The thing is, like, they <laughs> always say this. Like, if you ever get, like, accused of a crime or something, the best way, not, this is not the best way to get out. There, <laughs> but one common way that people um, mitigate, like, these types of things are to admit to a less serious thing. Right. Okay, so, like, if they say, why did you want this creepy room? You, you have to come forward and say, oh. Just sex? I, I'm, no, no, no. Oh. You're like, you're like embarrassed about it. You're like, oh, I was, I'm really, in, 
oh, this is really embarrassing. I don't really want to tell you about it. And they're like, go on, go on. Yeah. What is it? What's your secret? Yeah. Did you murder all those people? And it's like, I'm a brony. <laughs> <laughs> I like wearing a tail. <laughs> There's pictures of me on the internet doing it. And they're like, okay, he's just a per pervert. He can't be also a murderer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, that would have worked, but they found charred remains of someone's body in his garden. I mean, <laughs> it's hard to be like, it's just because I'm a brony, dude. <laughs> like that's, it's just brony. That's how we do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you, do you know what I'm saying, though? Like, that's quite a common, like, because then you're like, the police are like, oh, we knew they, we knew there was something off about yeah. it. And that explains why we thought there was something off that's, about it. That's that's it, though. And then, then they, they don't suspect you for the, for the actual crime. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that next time. Oh, shit. What's this? Murder room. Oh, no, is this a room where he kept people? Oh, those are beds. Are these beds? Yeah, it looks like it. Is it beds? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. They've got plates <gasps> and stuff. Wake up, Ethan! Ethan, wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Oh, that's us, Paul. Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. What's wrong with his mouth? I was late. Too you late. Little kid. You're right. You were too late. Is he we were there? too late. Well, I guess everyone's Here. dead. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Oh, it's the map. Not in Russian, though. Oh, I see. There's the bear trap. Mm-hmm. The the story of Ethan's thing, mm -hmm. the mine, the um, house of portals, yeah. portal house. That's that skull head thing is something else. Yeah, what's that? Bridge, dam, church. This place. Stories. Traps and skulls. So obviously that what we just had. Space catcher. Oh, is it saying these are things we did and didn't do? Or is it saying we have we to We didn't do, do that one. There was a question. We didn't do the witch forest. We did the witch forest, didn't we? Oh. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Okay, so it's telling us we have to do the other two puzzles, which right. we already did last week, in order to right, I see. complete the game, I guess. <laughs> and then once we've done that, how long we got? Got half an hour. Do you reckon we can whack those two puzzles out in All the right. next half an hour? Yeah. Yeah. Just run, run. So it looks like what happened was. Look on the wall, but she's doing it not to my wife. Oh. What? What did he try and do to poor old Gail? He tried to brick her up in the wall, but she fought me. In the end, I couldn't do it, not to my wife. Also, maybe he just killed his wife. Mm. Maybe and let the her house burn fire. rather than make her suffer. Yeah, like everyone. Oh, I see. What is this horrible room? Also, I think the reality is, is that Ethan is probably dead. Dead. I think we'll find him at the end. Oh, we can just travel to these. Oh, good. Aha. Oh, that's useful. I'm assuming going back, that will, that will take us back. That will save us a lot of faff. Faffy faff. Right, faff we'll do the portals. Oh, God. Oh, that was a really irritating one, wasn't it? That was like... It was very easy to fuck it up. Putting the house back together. Wasn't it? Yeah. Do you remember? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't, remember, I don't remember how to solve it. I remember doing it. All right, so... Um... Yeah, so we go through here, and then we're in the other house. So that's the front mm -hmm, door to the other mm -hmm. house. Yeah? And then I, think, I feel like this room was like, I'll know it when I see it. Not that one. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot you had to switch. Him. Oh, my bad. I fucked up. Um, how should we start? Yeah. Okay. I want the extra life. So, yeah, sorry. I forgot that you had to change it. You did this before. So go left, and then This was like a kitchen, it. right? Yeah, it was Something. like change... It was this. It was this. Oops. It was. You're right. It was that. And then this ground floor room. I can't remember what this was. Was this. Was it that? Yeah, it was. You're right. It was that, yeah. 
And then this is like uh, a... I think it's this. Like a, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this room here. Very fucking dark, so I'm going to come back to it. Mm -hmm. And then this... I think is this because of the windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this is not that. That's the attic. I think again, maybe it's this because the windows. Yeah. And then this is the this is back up the stairs, isn't it? Yeah, it's the other. Oh, weird. We can hmm. go either end. Why, why would we have to do that? That seems weird. Um, Not that. This must be this. Yeah, you're right, Lydia. Will you bear with me one moment? Do you want some scissors? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll. It's, <laughs> That's okay. You don't need to explain. I think, I think the uh, terrible gameplay is getting to her. Uh, this is the attic. This is. Yeah, this must be the attic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I remember this. This is all fine. Oh, so, and then this one. I think it's easy to do from the other side because we know it's the stairs. Yeah. And then that's it, I think, apart from. Oh, there's some rooms up here we haven't done. I think it's this shitty room here. Yeah. And this is. This. Cool. 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 And then finally. Where are we? Yeah, this is like a little shitty basement room. Like this. Oh! And that's it. This is the lab. Yes. A magician once lived inside an old house. May poses let me see the future. Yeah, is this? I don't know what this means. Why are you standing means. there? You spying? No. No. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. What did you happen? Stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Bloody stories. Oh yeah, we thought this was just his still, didn't we? Where he made his. Grandpappy made his alcohol. Yeah. It wasn't anything more than that. Job done. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get out of here if we can. Doopy doopy do. Do loo loo doop 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 do. Uh, we can take the portal back. Go to the mine puzzle and quickly try not to get murdered by the terrifying ghost man in the mine. Question mark? Nice that they put these things at the end, so you don't have to find them if you can't, if you couldn't find them. Um, although it has sort of put you back a fair whack. Oh god, I need to go through the ghost pit. All right, let's see if I can remember which way we have to go.
Yeah, the sea thing. I remember this. I remember the sea thing. Hang on, let's just look at the map. Uh, we want to go... Straight forwards. And then... Hug the left wall. Oh, I'll weave through and hug the left wall. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm sure this is going to go fine. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, oh, God, that was spooky. How are we there? Going this way. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Lydia, I'm scared. Lydia, I'm scared. I'm scared. Sorry, right, I'm here to protect you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think I've got the wrong way, Lydia. I think I've got the wrong way. I'm gonna. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna. Uh, mm. uh, I'm not gonna look. I was a jump scare I missed. Oh no! Oh. Did the spooky boy come out at you? I think I'm supposed to find all the corpses in this horrible maze. Have you got to the bit um, with the uh, puzzle yet? On the top of that sort of like uh, tower. Do you know what I mean? Uh oh. I went the wrong way, did you? You can do this. Is it this? <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I've got lost in the maze, oh, Lydia. Oh, bloody oh. hell! I just want to just go this way. Oh, there isn't anything that way. What is, th what is this even map? What is this map even? What is this even map? Oh. Oh, dead boys. So who are, who are these dead people in the mine? What? What? Now I'm here. What? Is yeah. The other miners, right. I'm purposefully not looking at the screen right now. The dead miner. I'm <laughs> just looking at you. I'm perfectly not looking. This way. You can oh. do it. Yeah. So I'm guessing you're not good with scary games then, Lewis. <sighs> no, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> What's the scariest game you've played? Oh. Like, and played through it, you know what I mean? Start I've to finish. I, can't, I can recall a couple that I've battled through. Oh, look, see, this is what happens. The miners stand on the correct... Yeah, I remember route. this bit. And you cheated. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I cheated before because I had to. Well, I didn't have to. Um, but I wanted to because I didn't want to go through the mine and deal with the... Spooky. Oh, yeah, because it was like, oh, no, too many spooky boys. Um, but we, we, kind of, we kind of figured it out, didn't we? No, you just cheated. <laughs> There was no figuring out. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. It was spooky. <laughs> don't lie to people. <laughs> I don't like spookums. I know. I don't either. I do. It's weird. Like I like. I I want to play horror games. I want to do it, but I can't do it unless I play them with someone else. If I play them by myself, I just. I cannot. I just can't. I'd get so so scared. Oh. Like I invest so much of my heart and soul into it. It just terrifies me. Uh, Lydia, since you're looking at chat, I recommend the Nancy, Nancy Drew. Chevron 4, 6 encoded. Wow. And that's the Drew series of games. Isn't that like the, like, uh, sort of like American um, Miss Marple? Yeah. Isn't she like a child? Isn't it like kids books, Nancy Drew? I don't know. Isn't yeah. she like a teenager? Yeah, a that's what I thought. Adult. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I like a bit of... It, I don't... Look. I, I understand it being the appeal of something being very, very dark. But sometimes I don't like stuff being unnecessarily dark for no good reason. 
As in... I don't really want, like, super child murder 5 million going on in my books, really. Like, in a video game? Yeah, I don't really want... Is child murder too, ever a thing I don't really in a video game? To, I don't want it to be too dark. Do you know I mean? This is just about the right amount of dark. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think of a, a game which is, like, really out. dark, so it's just... This has got this is right at the exact yeah. pace that I want. I'll read your story later. You know, I don't want okay. like and um too much bad please stuff. Please don't mm. tell your mother. Oof. I want to be unsettled okay. no, but safe. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. I want Poirot level I, mystery. Oh. I like the mystery as much. Yeah, I don't mystery like the grisly more stuff. than like I I couldn't I had to, so I was streaming Resident Evil 2 and I couldn't go on. <laughs> I couldn't finish. I it could, was just jump could, scare after jump scare. Can't play anymore. It's just, I was just, I feel exhausted because I'm so on edge and so tense and screaming so much that it's just like, it's just exhausting. I get an hour in, I'm like, I can't, I can't handle this anymore. Okay, we've got all the stories told. Ooh. What's that? That's a new one. Ooh. Is that us? That is us. You're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma, he's in here. What is that? Honey, be careful with that lamp. Damn. The hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan, for God's sake, you missed dinner. I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, supernatural detective. Oh, we. Where do you uh, get this? Stuff? Ethan made us up. Paul, we don't actually exist. Would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that, Chad? Shut up! You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Shit! Shit! Everyone! Whoa! Get out! Ethan, get out! The smoke, it's toxic! Jesus. Oh, God! What do we do? What do we do? Of course we were made up. It seems to be a running theme. That because we happened in the last game, wasn't it? That girl wasn't real. So he dies, and they all burn to death. Seven. So. Right, all of that stuff didn't actually happen. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else?
Hmm. So. <laughs> so, those were all just stories. All of that sleeper stuff. Those are all just stories he was writing. He's the dreamer. He's gone to. He's. He's, he's passed out. Yeah. He's dead. They're, they're his last dreams. Yeah. As he dies in the basement, maybe. About all that stuff happening. Yeah. Passes out from smoke inhalation. Yeah. So we weren't real. No. No. And those people are all still alive. Yeah, they survive. Yeah. Yeah. But he... He dies. He dies. Aww. And his stories are... Him getting revenge on them? Or... Hmm. I don't know. They, they guess they, you know, well, some of them were treating him badly, but not all of them. Kind of is like his, his kind of fever dream mm. madness. Mm. Well, yeah, carbon monoxide poisoning. Maybe, maybe make you go a little bit doolally. He was a metaphor for his life. What was it saying? The sleeper mustn't sleep, or something. Was that what was the saying they were all saying? Yeah, the sleeper... Must, mustn't must sleep, or the sleeper must sleep, or... The sleeper must wake up, right, and he's the sleeper. I see. Because he didn't want to die. I see, okay, and they're probably, like, banging on the door, and... But, yeah, if, 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 if he falls asleep, because he, he dies. They say that your life flashes before your eyes, so maybe his stories did instead. What a way to start a Thursday! Child death! Yeah. Was it child murder or was it just well, like. It wasn't murder, an accident. it was an accident, wasn't it? She sort of turned around and the fire. They were obviously spread. quite an abusive family to him. Yeah. I think that's why he sort obviously of. Obviously, his, his older brother was very bullying and everyone else was, you know, uncle was bullying him. Yeah, and that's why he used to hide away and write stories and stuff. But, yeah, they didn't. It wasn't murder. Super child death. Well. Well, I've, I'm feeling. Great now. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the world. Well, at least we... Um, we finished we it. We got to the bottom of that yeah, mystery. Yeah, that's good. It was good. That was it good. Was, I enjoyed that. I right. really thought that was good. And I didn't... I'm surprised not at one point did we say, I bet we're not real. That's true. No, we didn't get mm. that. We didn't get that twist. That was a good twist. That was a good I'll twist. I'll take it. Because yeah, I, I thought, thought it was just bad writing. But actually, it turns out it was. It was writing of a child's writing. Paul Prospero, super Prospero. detective. Yeah, exactly. I guess we should have thought like this seems a bit um, shit. <laughs> I thought there was some psychic shit going on, but no, it was just, just like a kid's imagination. Oh, well, that well. Next week, we're playing more mysteries. On Thursday. yeah, we'll have a we'll have a break. I'll, have, I'll get a bit of lunch. We're gonna go and um, you gonna come with me and we're gonna record something this afternoon. Mm -hmm. gonna, we might go out somewhere and. Um, I'm not going to say where we're going in case you get crashed. I just don't want to dox myself too much. But yeah. I'm going to record a little main channel yog vlog, maybe. Head out and um, fool around. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, just chips. <laughs> promote Yogcon. Get some just chips. Yeah. Do you fancy? I could, I could eat. I could eat. I'm kind of hungry, actually. Well, I yeah. I've not really been very, very well lately. No. Maybe just chips isn't. A, just chips? Just chips turned into Australian. Just chips. Just chips, mate. For South African. See it, African. Just chips. Uh, yeah. Just chips. Just chips, mate. It's more Russian now. Is it, I don't just see chips. Russia. Just chips. Is that <laughs> right? Just chips. Just chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're, we're done. All right, was, I think we've lost our minds. We're going now. Child murder, tick. Well, manslaughter. Child death. Child death. Done. Was there Weird ghost we done. Missed? Supernatural tech. Oh, done. We, we missed stuff. Oh, Steve. Steve. Hey guys, just want to say thanks for streaming. I come home yesterday and was rushed into hospital after work as I was in and out of consciousness and was delusional. To be honest, don't remember anything apart from waking up to love watching you's home now. Steve, I hope you're doing all right. Steve, I hope you're all right, mate. Thank you so much for the donation. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and Sticky Chicken, Pride 500, this is for the great stream. Yes. But also to say that a boof slash Steve Stev stream is an OP combo. Oh, yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, because uh, cause I wasn't back in uh, for our Mine and Booth's Tuesday stream. She had Steve on. Right, well, 
How was that? How was that? Uh, yeah, I want to catch up with that. I want to I wanna watch the board. You want to see what old uh, Booth was up to, cheating on you? On I know, right? With Why? several different people. That goddamn hussy. Show her Mrs. Wednesday Divinity coming back. Don't know. Me and Duncan will find time to finish that game, hopefully. I'm sure there'll be a chance in the next um, few weeks to, to finish that game off. We, we've got so far. Right at the end. And in the um, end. And then Bronze Bot says... Suppose Hypnospace will have to wait for another week. Yes, this guy sent me a job. Bronze Spot's been telling us to play Hypnospace Outlaw. I've heard, I watched uh, Booth play a bit of that and Zoe. It looks weird and interesting and it does. strange. It's quite quirky. Yeah. And I think it will do Isn't well. that like a mystery thing? I think so. Yeah. yeah I think we're a detective. Oh, so to play it on our stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. So we've we'll, we'll, we'll got that on our list to yeah, play after, that is um, a good idea. after Nightcrawl next week. We'll be back next week. Uh, thanks for all the love. Thank thanks you. For the support. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We're back on Thursday at 11 a.m. See ya. <laughs> 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 <laughs>